Oh, good. No, no one, no one's here. I'm good. Safe. Safe. Oh, gosh. Never mind. Never mind. You had to post right when I said that. What's up? What's happening? How's it going, though? Time for some da 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 da, -da already. No. What's up? What's happening? How's it going, Gina? Like searching the backlog just to make sure. Okay. 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 Drive. Google. Uh, uh, uh. This link. Let's see. Let's see. What the heck's all this? Crab frame? Oh, is it like a dancing crab? A crab? Wait, what? Crab army? Oh, scrolled up and that's a lot of crabs. Why are we making these things dance, though? First we... First we... Um... First we, uh... How, how shall I go this? First we... First... We... Eat them! Then we make them dance! Got out I brought Astra forward? That's correct. It's not Astra. Castle Evolution starring Mickey Mouse is still not that either. So what did, uh, uh, what did I play for my last short game, Doby? There's your clue. Neon Chrome. Rogue Aces. Oh, do I even have that one? I don't know. I guess. Maybe. I got a lot of games on that. You don't know? You don't know what I played between, uh, what was it before? What did I, what was the long game I did before? Uh. Might have been Death Stranding. I don't remember. I play so many games, I don't remember what I played. Flow 2. I don't think there's a Flow 2. I would totally play a Flow 2 if there was. It was a cute little game. Even if the control scheme was trying to kill me. The whole moving the controller around thing. That'd be pretty cool. Pixel junk something. Pixel junk something, huh? Something, something, something. Oh, uh, uh. You were kind of close with one of your guesses in terms of the clue I mentioned yesterday. Yesterday, you, yesterday you guessed, uh, what was it? Downwell? That's pretty similar to the game that I played before. In between the long games. Remember, I played Downfall! Downfall? Remember that little game? So now it's time for the last one in the series. I have no idea what's going to happen when I press enter. We'll see. I have no idea how loud it's going to be either because there's no audio right now to determine whether it's too loud or too quiet. It's probably too loud because my headphones are like 52. I should probably preemptively turn it down. I've turned it down to like 20, 29. Ah! Doing. Doing, 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 doing. That one. Yes, Lorelei. Lorelei. I can't believe you forgot about this one. A little out. Uh, 
Oh, get it. You know what? I almost forgot. The singing! I'm just listening to her saying, man. She's going at it. I'm just vibing. That's the only options I need. All right, full stack. Before I get DMCA'd. DMC for the title screen. I call it BS. Having a good time. Yay! Good song, but I'm not sure why we're playing it in the options menu. I have to restart Google Chrome, but it looks like it's taking up too much memory. Keep getting encoding overload. I don't know if that's related to the memory or not, though. Uh oh, she's starting again. Hold on a second, guys. I need to restart Chrome. I can't read chat right now. Don't type anything. Oh, 
Okay, CPU. I say. I see task managers thing. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not a big computer whiz. What do I know? Oh. That's better. She's very dramatic. It's a good song, though. having chrome open at the same time so now i got you guys in my phone twitch app instead i wonder if it's just a title screen with all the waviness keep saying encoded overloaded it doesn't like having google chrome open at the same time as this game that's okay though I'm in your phone. Yeah, you are, Dolby. You are my phone. Now I see you on my phone. Problem's better now once that Chrome's closed. Chrome's too much of a resource hog is what it is. That's, that's what it is. Probably. in your phone I'm sorry I'm sorry examine Q eat use skip speech we don't skip things around here keyboard layout too looks way more useful for me since I'm right-handed so I kind of like I'm not really a keyboard person you know oh there's controllers for this Ooh, should I plug in my controller I, had, I was not expecting there to be controllers. Ooh. We all know I'm a controller pleb. Controller does work. I'm not skipping speeches though. Use examine M Tor one. Okay. Sorry too. Never answered why I should remember this game either. What you got it for me? I thought your last year it was flower thing. That was on Tuesday. There's nothing to load. New game.
You ever, ever have a very pretty voice, lady? Rank contain, game contains seasoned vials, scored, did a strong language, said, but only for persons of 18. I, I, eight years and over. I, eight years. Work fiction, any similarity to actual characters, events, or places, pure coincidental. Hello, by the way, pro delay. Hello, Toby. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? This day is going fabulous. These guys have like massively upgraded. Like, I remember Cat Lady and then Downfall. This one's like, whoa. Hmm. Something I forgot though. Forgot to update game title. Let's, let, now I must figure out how to do that in phone. Don't mind me. Elect category Lori Lie. How do I save that? Update information? Cool. <clears throat> more origami 2, S strength, everything now. I just need one more mission without being discovered. You got this, I believe in you. I see. The prodigal daughter has returned. Prodigal? What? Saving! Auto save! That's cool. I don't need it, but if you enjoyed the game enough to ask can go undiscovered on our levels. Oh, okay. I'm glad you liked the game. It certainly has nice music. How is my beautiful Lorelei? Well, I had a weird day. I bathed an old lady, been kissed by a ghost, and I will die tonight, someone's told me. Chapter one? It's gonna what? Is audio level good, by the way? The prodigal daughter. Ooh. Seems fine to you. Okay. These always talk bollocks like that. Bloody mental, aren't they? Want to talk about it? Hmm. Ooh, that last one. Oof. 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 That last one's just so, so. chat, chat, chat. At the burbs. Maybe later. I'm starving. And I stink like a dog. Well, you know where the bathroom is. But then I want to hear about today, yeah? Ooh. 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 I don't know if we want to go with that territory. 
It's like she knows she, she's got a black eye. D does she want? She probably don't want to talk sure. about it. And you can tell me about that lovely new black eye. She brought it up oh, anyway. You bumped into a door and he didn't hit you at all. Lorelai. Where is he anyway? I tripped on the carpet. It's no sure. big deal. He's in a pub, isn't he? Yes, it's John's night out. And no, he didn't hit me. It was a stupid accident. It seems like it's John's night out seven days a week ever since they closed down that stupid brick factory. He'll find a new job soon. Yeah, that's what he's been saying for what now? A year? Just let it go, will you? What? That first one's kind of hardcore. That first one's kind of hardcore. It's not Mitzi. No, it's not Mitzi. Hmm. Which ending for Cat Lady is canon? I really don't see how Mitzi could be alive, honestly. Spoilers, Cat Lady spoilers. Considering, uh, what she have? Glioblastoma, something like that? Pretty sure she's not of this world anymore. Please be more careful, Mom. I will, babes. I will. But don't worry about me. I'm a tough old bird, me. You hungry? <laughs> like a wolf. I've left you some dinner in the kitchen. Go, fill up your tummy, grab a bath, and we can talk about it later, yeah? What's for dinner? It's chicken curry. Chicken curry? I gotta be honest, I've never had curry before. So I don't know exactly what it is. It just looked like Mitzi at first. That's true, she does look pretty similar. I'd imagine her with improved graphics, I know, right? I, I'll just say yum, because I'm nice. Yum. It's chicken in a curry sauce? Interesting. Still raining. Imagine if they redid Cat Lady someday in these this, uh, graphics and you can use a controller. I'm spoiled, though. I'm being spoiled right now. I feel like I'm being spoiled. I'm just gonna look out the window. I'm probably supposed to back out, but I don't want to. I want to see if it backs itself out. I give it like 10 more seconds. If I'm ever over there, I'll have some, I'm sure. Interesting. Interesting. And what's like different about a curry sauce versus like, I don't know, pasta sauce or whatever. What, what's special about a curry sauce? Mm, how do I back it? Just press A. Okay. Yeah. Sofa. Examine. Of cigarette smoke. I bet it does. She's got a cigarette in her hand it right there. Stinks of cigarette smoke. Oh, we gonna stare at the TV. What's interesting on this television? She doesn't even have her eyes open. It doesn't look like. She's just gonna sit there. So I just gotta say, when she told her mom to be careful, she didn't mean. The response she gave, I'm a tough old girl or whatever. That's not what she meant. She meant more like, don't get yourself killed by staying with this guy. She didn't mean indoor. She's what she, the, the woman's saying, she's like, I'm tough. I'm like, I can indoor. No. I know it's not that easy, but you know. Sad. Sad. Oh, that's a cool angle. Ooh, I'm being spoiled, man. 
After Cat laid down for- I feel like I'm being spoiled right now. It looks so pretty. Everyone's with Express, they're describing. I think we all are to some degree. Is it Indian gravy or sauce that is used in tandem with meat, tofu, or vegetables? Huh. I kid. What do you call those again? Buggy? Pram? Something? What's it mean? What's the significance? Was there a kid who passed away? So sad. So sad. Oh wait, I hear a kid. Wait, I'm in the hall? I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to go to the bathroom, I think. To wash up. Oh, Ira. Wait, what? It was my granddad's. This crying sounds awful. How can mother not hear it? Ah, the kid's still alive. For some reason, when we get to, got to this room, I thought it was like an apartment hallway or something. This is just their house, though. I never said I was observant. This crying sounds awful. How can oh, wait. mother not hear it? That's what you get for use mirror? I should check on Bethany first. Mother mm. sleeps in there with that man and my baby sister. Oof. Oof. Oh shit. Bethany. She crawl out? Did you crawl What's out? What's sister doing on the floor? Did she fall out of bed? Oof. Twelve days of Christmas clock? Huh? On the twelve days of Christmas? Oh wait, I'm gonna get DC DMCA'd for that. Maybe. I don't know. Is that song old enough? It wouldn't be. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Ooh, that first one. She just wanted a cuddle. Yeah. I think she missed you today. Was acting all weird. You two girls get on all right, don't you? Honestly, these are both kind of throwing shade. She needs someone she can rely on. Kind of implies that she can't rely on her mom. Should I need in restaurants where you are? Ah, uh, there probably are, but I haven't personally been to one. I'm spoiled with all the cheeseburger options. I'm spoiled American. <laughs> That's a funny Twitter link. Honestly, yeah, that would that would uh, throw me off to get me to one. Hmm. I have to try one out sometime. Yeah, she needs someone she can rely on. I'm doing my best. If you're not, and you know it. As long as that violent man is around, Bethany is not safe. You know bloody well that's not true. What's gotten into you today? Why are you so stroppy? Stroppy? What the heck is stroppy? I need, I need a Google. Stroppy. Stroppy. Uh, the context made me think like, um, grumpy, mad or something. I like how 
I did the first option because it sounded nicer, but we're still having an argument now. I mean, she knows she's a mess. Just telling her that's not going to do anything. Bad tempered? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, you can't just talk to her and she'll be like, oh, okay, I'll fix my shit. People have to dig themselves out of their problems. You're not going to be able to help your mom until she wants to help herself. So we're just going to get in this argument here. We're just going to get in this argument here. We need a serious talk. You're just going to nag again. Look. I know that things got a bit out of hand the last couple of weeks. I admit, but... Mom, it's killing me. Don't be such a drama queen. There's no need for that. Can't you see what that man is doing to you? He saved this family when your father died and left us with nothing! That's what he's done. He's scum. He fought for this country. Can you even imagine the things he went through in Afghanistan? Does that make it okay for him to take out his trauma on everybody else? No. He needs sterile peas. I don't do vindaloo over there. It's very spicy curry. Oh man, I'd probably start breathing fire for real. I'd be like a dragon if I had a super spicy curry. I'd be like, hmm. <laughs> These three options are really kind of the same thing. Just different insults. None of these options are really gonna do anything. They're just gonna escalate. I'm sorry, but he's an addict, a thug, and an unemployed piece of shit. And the only reason you're with him is that little fidget in your room, currently growing a nasty bruise on her tiny little head. W what? Yes, she fell out of bed. She's fine now and sleeping again. And yes, I blame you and John, the king of assholes, for letting this happen. It's not as easy as you think, Lorelei. No, it's very easy, Mum. Two simple steps. Step one, you dump John. Step two, um. we fix what's left of this family. You and me. I don't want to talk about this tonight. It's not as easy as she think Lorelai thinks it is. Ah. Cuz step 1, yeah, you could dump him, but he's already shown that he's violent. He hits. What's to stop him from tracking you down and finishing the job you gotta be very careful when you leave someone like that i don't know they need to plan it out first they can't just do it spur of the moment and draw i imagine they've got shelters there though but still i think lorelei's a little naive here Rom's in a dangerous situation. I guess she is too if she's also getting hit. I don't know. I don't know. Basically a dish that's an essential of British Indian curry houses. Really? Interesting. Taking notes right now. Taking notes. Take on notes notes. Oh my me, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I am. I got Vindaloo written right over here.
Profile cool. Don't walk away from me now, Mum. I wanted to watch a film. It starts in a minute. Now, go to the kitchen and have your curry. And please eat at the table like a civilized person. Mum. That's her criteria for you being civilized. That's her criteria for being civilized. Eat at a table? Interesting. I left to check that living room that we were just in had like cans and trash everywhere. That, that's 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 fine. This this is not us being civilized, right? That's just par for the course, right? But eating at the dinner table, that's required. We need to break away with part about. Uh it's not gonna happen unless the mom wants to leave. Cause otherwise she'll just go right back. She might she might leave and go to shelter, but she'll go right back eventually unless she re actually really wants to leave. You can't force someone to do something they don't truly want to do. Like you can't force someone to stop being addicted to alcohol or drugs or whatever unless they want to take that step. Lorelai's in a tough situation, so. I can understand her frustration, but. Like, you can offer to, like, help and stuff, but. She can't make her mom take that, you know, step. It's not easy to break her else, it's true. She has to want to do it, and then she has to do it in a safe way so that he doesn't, like, find her and kill her. Because since he's already shown himself to be violent, I'd absolutely believe he would, you know. Go end her existence. I love a different survival. Mother sleeps in there with that. Hmm. That's the same text from before. No prompt to check to make sure that you're not suffering from head drama from falling off the bed. Okay, fine. 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 Are we supposed to take a shower off us? That's a fancy floor, man. Wouldn't make much sense to use the towels before the bath, but maybe I'm crazy. These to Mom and John. I used to love my long hot baths. Then John forbade us to lock the door. Ew. The fuck? That's creepy. Shucks. I forgot to bring my towel. Oh, shit. <laughs> so should I use her towel? Oh wait, I bet if I use their towels, he's probably gonna yell. This little island of sanity in there is my room. Well, I dare you use my towels. It never bothered me that I found it in the skip. Sit. Just likes to sit down and close her eyes. Ah, nice and relaxing. It's a nice piano. Maybe now that I have a job, I can buy an iPod. But I'd still miss this old friend. What the heck's an iPod? Do they even still make iPods anymore? I don't know. iPod was that thing from a billion years ago. I feel old now. My safe little haven. Sylvia and me do not get along. She keeps taking my headphones. Hmm. <laughs> It's my bathroom towel. 
I leave it here in case Jean tries to use it. My tell. Oh, okay. RB combine. I can't combine with anything. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. He's toweling everything. That would make total sense. With my towel. <laughs> I'm just messing with the controls. Hey, you're represented, though, but your flag's on the door. Still proud to be British, eh? Feeling represented right now. Might disagree. Nah. Oh, I stink. I need a proper bath. You all right, Sylvia? <laughs> nice headphones. But please ask me next time you want to borrow them, yeah? Hmm. Maybe later. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, well, that's creepy. I can't lock the bathroom door. They're not allowed to lock the bathroom door. That's pretty creepy. I'm not using these. I don't want to catch anything. <laughs> I have to keep it in my room so nobody else uses it. Wait, it wouldn't make sense to use the towel in the bath, would it? Oh wait, it does? Okay. You take your bath, then towel up. Don't use the towel on the bath. I don't think mirrors are supposed to show fields. Nature. What did she call me? A prodigal daughter? Did a prodigal daughter come back to cry for forgiveness? Well, once I'm gone, I'm never coming back. Wow. Perv. Hey. That's why he wanted the bathroom door unlocked so he could just barge in whenever. Doesn't care about anybody else's privacy. I like how you called that though. You're like, no doubt they just tap it. Cause cover it. That's fucking gross, man. That's gross. That's gross. It's been empty a lot the last few weeks. Shitty microwave food. Thanks for the effort, mom. You're the best. They're one pound a box, I think. They're one pound a box, I think. Is that just like the Roman numeral for one? They're so one I'm like, a box, I think. They're I pound. I'm like, wait, what? What? Look how we zoomed in on it. Chicken tikka masala with rice. Cooking instructions. Pierce film lid several times. Eat on full power for five minutes. Mm -hmm. I usually mm -hmm. eat in my room these days. Did they even eat anything today? At least there are no dirty dishes waiting for me tonight. A secret drawer full of useful stuff. A secret mm -hmm. drawer full of useful stuff. 
Why are there... Wait, why do you have batteries in the same drawer as your utensils? What the hell? What is this house? This house would drive me insane in about three seconds. Roman numeral for what? Uh, the curry said like one pound or something like it was one pound, but they had the letter I instead of the number one. So uh, now I'm speculating if they're using Roman numerals or they're just trying to mess with me. They're just trying to mess with me. Someone's been making cheese on toast. It's empty. I was wondering if it was going to ask me how long to heat it for. It was going to test me. But now, I guess not. in the film lid. Ooh. Well, the game didn't ask me to do it. I wouldn't have forgotten. I guess I'm not. I would remember. Then. I would have remembered if you'd given me the option to do it, game. Oh shit, wait. It did. Never mind. I got the fork. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I was supposed to punch punch it with the fork. I was supposed to do it. I I I, I I'm stupid. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I was going to get like text options to do it. But it was it was my fault. I I'm the worst. I'm sorry, Lorelai. I'm the worst. You didn't need to eat anyway, right? Eating is optional, so right? So this is where civilized people eat. I know, right? Rip. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I, it's been too long since I played these games. I forgot you have to do all the stuff. Oh, the worst. I can't even make food. How do I survive? She didn't I in 18 as well. Might be a hint. Maybe. Hello there, pretty lady. Stare. Does she even blink, man? She's gonna stare. She's gonna stare. You still disagree with the cooking instructions? Uh, excuse me, Gabe. No heat on full power for five minutes. Stir heat for further three minutes. What? Well, I guess you would have overcooked it. And I would have uh, blown it up. Dad gave it to Mom for Christmas seven years ago. I bet she doesn't even remember. I couldn't interact with the clock before. Hmm. So it's got like the symbols for that song, right? Pear tree, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember the song's lyrics or how it goes. It says it's like... Wait. This is like... A little bit past 10, I guess. No, it's not. Okay, I left for at the Pierce 4. Still ate the thing. Oh, I gotta move to escape. We can take another bath. Oh no, we can't take another bath. It leads to the living room. There's something going back to the living room. That's a different kid, isn't it? I wonder if there was another kid. So smoky in there. 
I already have three K cat tweaks because you're just that good, man. You're just that good. Oh man, gosh darn it. Oh, I just love this part. Yep, this this film is extremely exciting. Are you saying about the batteries in the kitchen? They had batteries in the same drawer with their utensils, their silverware. Like what? What? Still raining. Hmm. I can't talk to her. Do I just leave? It leads to the hallway. Maybe later. I've only just come back. Alright, so what do I do then? Go check on the kid? Because I ruined my food and I'm apparently not eating. So I'll either go to my room or check on the kid. How's the kid? Still breathing? Okay. I feel like they're alluding to Cat Lady with the flowers, man. The flowers in the baby crib. Oof, man. No! 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 They're both doing my head in. But I know what I need. Junkie brush. So music is the only thing louder than the screaming inside my head. Mm -hmm. Now just sit, enjoy the quiet, don't get the MCA. Although I'm, I'm pretty sure. Sylvia and me do not get along. She keeps taking my headphones. Pretty sure if I don't use those headphones, I'll get yelled at for playing the stereo without headphones. Maybe now that I have a job, I can buy an iPod. Batteries are dead. That's just flippin' fantastic. Oh. Time to go to the silverware drawer for batteries! This makes total sense. A secret drawer full of useful stuff. Voila. All right, gorgeous. Ah. You smell like a brewery. Ah, uh, here's a couple of pints down to the dog. But I bought a little bottle of red on the way back. You want some? No thanks. Well, that's more for me then. What are you up to? Just getting some batteries. Batteries? Nah, well, it all makes sense now. What does? These, these strange uh, vibrations every night coming from your room. These walls are thin, you know? They're for my headphones. No need to lie. <laughs> it's very uh, normal. You know, when a girl like you gets to a certain age. But if you need an help, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the actual fuck is wrong with you? Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Fuck off. Rah. Rah. What the fuck? Lock the door! Can I lock the door? I can't lock the door! Still proud to be British, eh? Lock the door! 
I could remember the previous games enough to recognize all the references. What? Hmm. Can't I put the headphones on me? Um. What a dream. Ah, where'd my vibe and music go? <laughs> Type of music sounded pretty cool. I'm going for it. Oh, yeah. I could not even allow to lock the bathroom when I was trying to lock the bedroom. I know, right? I know, right? You can't say like creepy shit like that and not want to lock your bedroom door, Dolby. That makes me far more worried than him just being violent physically. My safe little haven. I just say shit like that. I guess I'm leaving. Should I put the headphones back on uh, Sylvia? Hmm, I don't think I can. I was just gonna put him back where I got him from. Like some weirdo. That's not really on what sofa. Headphones are for. Oh yeah, that's true. I have a fork. Maybe I can stab that guy with a fork. That'd be cool. All right, here we go again. You're nothing but a stupid bitch. That's what you are. So call me that. Shut your damn gob woman. Do you know what the problem is? You. Nagging. Always nagging. So shut your stinking mouth, will you? John. I'm begging you. And what did I... Hmm. Are you okay, kid? Okay. I gotta go stab a guy with a fork. Oh wait, that won't that won't make it better. Then I'll just be in jail. You're nothing but a stupid bitch. That's what you are. Don't call me that. Shut your damn god woman. Stop it. Do you know what the problem is? You. Hello? Nagging. Always nagging. Bethany's crying so again. shut your stinking mouth, will you? John, for fuck's sake, aren't you, you gonna do something? And what did I just say? You fucking deaf or something? Mother sleeps in there with that mat. It's locked. Wait, what? 
It's locked. Uh oh. Where'd my room go? Where'd my room go? The time's the same. It hasn't changed. Dad gave it to Mum for Christmas seven years ago. What the fuck? The trippiness has begun. I'm so glad you're here, babes. I've got this splitting headache. And Beth screaming her head off again. Please tend to her for me, would you? I will, but I just can't find her. She's in there. Just go in. Where's there? This way? Nothing I got's gonna go over that. Perhaps pulling this lever will extend the bridge so I can get to bed. Ah! Uh, 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 I'm gonna kill this kid and he'll be like, no! This lever? Perhaps pressing this button will extend the bridge so I can get to Bethany. And before they're all the wrong one. Perhaps pulling this lever will extend the bridge so I can get to Bethany. Bethany! Ooh. No. They're all the wrong one, aren't they? It was gonna be the button, right? I can't expect me to know what the right one is. I bet the I bet the button would have not worked out. Sack? Who the heck are you? Morning, Lorelei. Do you know what time it is? It's like six in the morning. Yeah, I stayed up. I got something for you. Long lady yours, Lorelai. Yeah, it is. It is. Title drop, roll credits, right? What is it? It's, um, well, they said it would rain today, so I thought I'd give you this. An umbrella? Yeah, I thought, well, you don't really want to get drenched on your first day of work. I love it. Thanks. I hope it brings you luck. That's very sweet of you, Zach. I wonder where this guy lives. I'm imagining this guy going across town to give her a fucking umbrella in the morning. At six in the morning. I think this guy likes her. <laughs> right. I'm off. I don't want to be late. See you later. Stay up. I hope he lives in the same apartment building. I mean, even if he was next door, maybe that, that open door is his apartment. Maybe he's a next door neighbor. 
Ba. Dạ. Do you um you know Có cậu It's uh, Forget it. It's nothing. Really. Karen. Have a great day, yeah? Ch cheerio. Cheerio, like the cereal. Coward! Just man up and ask her out so I can say no and tell you to fuck off. I gotta do some save it of my family. I don't have time for you. Uh oh. This is where we work, huh? I don't think so. Interesting. Don't hurt her. She's not giving me any choice. She's holding some fucking secret and I want to know it. You think you're better than me? Do you think I'll hesitate to teach you a fucking lesson? Dream. It was just a dream. Hmm. Hope it stays that way. Exactly how you would be very awkward. Ah! Maybe I'm being too tough on Mom. I'll try to talk to her one more time. I don't really know how that works, though. I don't know how old Lorelai is. She's not. She's still a minor. She, can you just, like, leave? I don't think so. I don't know. But if she tried to take Bethany, wouldn't that technically be kidnapping? I don't really know how that situ how you, that situation would go. Like, if you got you're an abusive family, you you leave and take your sibling. Like, legally, it's probably not okay. So, so she's in a pretty tough spot. I don't know what you what you do. In a tough situation. Okay, you haven't fallen down a ravine. You haven't been thrown to the floor. It's okay. It's still good. I was just dreaming. I'm sorry I pulled the wrong levers, kid. Sorry. She's probably in the living room, right? How many cans of beer can we stack in the order around there? Well, this would be screwed. We're hurt, but ask. But that wouldn't be the polite thing to do. The polite thing's to wait for someone talking to finish. Even if you think that you know what they're gonna say, you wait for them to finish their sentence first. That'd be polite. Wait, where is she? Maybe later. I've only just come back. But where is she? Is she in the restroom? Am I just gonna waltz in there and not knock first? I said on the other side, that's true. I just came from here. I checked all the other rooms to get the restroom. That's a bathroom in there. I should knock first! I'm just as bad as the others, but I'll knock first. Mom, you okay? 
I want to be alone. Do you mind? Are you crying? No. My eye is still a bit sore. From the fall. I told you, didn't I? Did something happen? No, nor would I. It's nothing. I just need a minute. Actually, no. I'll tell you the truth. Do you want to hear it? Yes. I hate this life. I hate waking up to the sound of Beth crying. I hate John drinking all the time. He's drunk all the money we've had left till the end of the month. Did you know? We're broke. I hate this stinking old flat. I hate this bloody rain. Just raining all the time. I can't even take Beth out so we stay at home and she's bored and she's being a fucking nightmare. And <laughs> I hate your nagging. That disappointed face you make every time I feel shit. Yes, Lorelei. I even hate you. Oof. You don't mean it, do you? You don't mean it. You're just in a dark place right now. You shouldn't say stuff like that. You can't take back stuff you say, you know? Once you say it, it's out there. Mom, I just want to be alone for five fucking minutes. Is that too much to ask? Ma. This is all so fucked up. Let's face it. I am never getting away from here. Uh-oh. Don't tell yourself that. Don't start that. You can do it, you can get Dad out of here. Always knew what to do. He'd have said, Imagine there's a secret door right here in your room. I can't see it. But it's right in front of you. Right. A secret door is right in front of me. Nice view. I mean, she can escape. I don't know about her taking Bethany, though. I don't know about the legal ramifications of her taking Bethany when she's not her parent, but her older sibling. But she can get out of here. She can get out of here. Ooh, I like that transition. Look how smooth that grass was. Look how smooth that was. Look at that. Ooh. That's cool. That's cool. I don't want to 
go yet. I don't blame you. It's probably the most beautiful place in the world, right here. Give me one of your riddles, Dad. A riddle, eh? All right. Listen up. My mirror image is never that far. I have five different points, like a star. While I have no mouth that I can employ, I do make a song often filled with joy. What am I? Give me puzzles. We can hang up. Hey, Chloe. Want to jump up in my lap? Okay. Hello, cat. Let's say it, lady. Oh. It's true, it's true. What do you think the answer is, Cat? You could at least look at the screen and point to the screen, Cat. Oh, you just want to be petted instead? Okay. Give me some ear rubs here. I'm thinking hand, because hand has five points, right? Five fingers? The sky, water, they wouldn't have points. The trees would have, like, way more, because they've got a bunch of different branches. I'm thinking a hand. Although I don't see how hands make sounds, but maybe they don't mean like a literal sound. Too easy, Dad. The answer is hand. You caught it. You are I a got it. Young lady, aren't you? Taught you well. You're gonna get well, Dad. I know it. Nor am I. I saw it on TV. People be cancer all the time. Oof. Well, optimize is a great oncologist, they say. So who knows? It's gonna be a hell of a ride, though. For Mum. And for you as well. But you're big enough to deal with it. I know you are. Oof. But how can you deal with your dad dying from cancer when you're just 12 years old? I two years old. to me right now fuck you Brenda read your Miranda rights get out of here no, see I don't know if she should go out there but I think I have to go out there Perhaps there's something about that eye that it's just because the title's Laura Lie with an eye on the end. That's true. It could be like a thing. Check 
Check out the kid. That's the kid. You okay? You're not allergic to flowers? Okay. I think I'm gonna go in the kitchen. <laughs> Were there always? There were probably always knives hanging up there. I only just noticed them now, though. That's kind of creepy. Those were probably always there. I only just noticed the knives hanging. Eee! Can I grab one? No, I don't want to go to prison. It would be Kid Daphne. That's unfortunate. There's really not much she can do for Bethany. Because I doubt her parents are going to hand over custody. So. She can get out, but I don't know about the kid. Oh boy. I got a conversation coming here. I don't want to have. Well, let's do the second and third one. Uh, the guy like this, he's, he, he's not going to tolerate being told what to do. How dare you tell me what to do? What's going on? You sorry, old smother, we had to lock the door. Did not I tell you both not to do that? Leave her alone. I'm a bloody husband. Come out oh, and no. touch your husband. One of those. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, you can both go to hell. You will have a good chat about this when you come out, you stupid cow. Mom? Mom? You okay in there? Oh, Mom? shit. Oh, shit. It's not uh -oh. funny. Please, say something. I'm... I'm really getting uh -oh. worried now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. I can feel uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. I need to get this door opened. But how? Mom's locked it from the inside. Maybe Zach will know what to do. Yeah, I have like a uh, key lock thing on my thing. Uh-oh. There's a bathroom in there. I don't even know how I feel about Zach. He's nice, but ugh, I don't know. He seems nice, that doesn't mean he is nice. You never know. You're always be on your guard. Zach. Just survival. My mom. I think something happened to her. What? Why? She was pretty upset tonight. We had a fight. Then I nodded off in my room, and that idiot John woke me up, banging on the door like a maniac. Mom locked herself in the bathroom, and I feel something's wrong. Like she's hurt or something. Please, Zach. I don't know what to do. Maybe... She just wants to be alone. No, oh, I know She said. She would just yell at me to go away. But she's saying nothing at all. That's not like her. Right. What if she fainted? We need to call an ambulance. An ambulance? Is she worried that they'll find out about how the kid's being treated and take her away? Like, I'm sure uh, UK has got their own version of Child Protective Services, so... I think the question is, is what's better for Bethany, you know?
she's pretty young. So I don't think she would have an issue with like getting a foster family or getting adopted or whatever, whatever it is. But yeah, she definitely doesn't want to call an ambulance because she's worried about them finding out about Bethany's situation and then CPS comes and takes her away and stuff. We have social services, yeah. However, I don't see how you're getting that bathroom door open if it's locked from the other side without breaking it down and ambulance people could probably do that. Although the real ch question choice here isn't whether or not to call an ambulance, because obviously that's not happening. The real question is, should we tell Zach about our family situation? Ah, ah, you can't walk on my keyboard, cat. Uh-uh. I gotta walk all over my stuff. You're very cute, but you can't walk on my keyboard. They're adorable, but you can't do that. Are you gonna go that way? Okay. That's sure the notorious for failing, which often results in a young child being killed. CPS isn't very good over here either, from what I've heard. Apparently you have to be pretty feckin' terrible to actually have your kid taken away. Let me tell you something about my family. We are scum. The flat is in such a state. If the ambulance comes, they'll see all that shit. Do you understand? They'll put my little sister oh, yeah, the in the trash. home. And I'll never see her again. Shit. My mom is crazy. My stepdad is a stinking drunk who keeps perving on me. I heard he sells weed to kids at school. Yeah, I know. But you're not oh, like them. He knows that. Look. We're wasting time. Please, help me get the bathroom open so we can see if she's all right. Okay. One child's visit 60 times in eight months. It's, wow. We just need a screwdriver and some wire. All right. Sounds good. Have you ever done it before? Sure. Lots of times. Why? Why, why have you done it lots of times? In what Sky you been Man. doing, man? Oh! Wait, sure what? Wake up. No. In Skyrim! Skyrim? In Skyrim? I've actually never played Skyrim. I'm probably one of the three people in the world who's never played that game. Walk quietly. I can't walk quietly. Bye, loser. You never played Skyrim either. Oh, okay. Cool. You're the second out of three. I need a screwdriver and some wire. Like a paperclip or something. Wait. You don't have it. Um, no. I don't believe I do. Well, that's just great. I thought you were the lock picking expert. I'm adept <laughs> at most. But I can do it. I just figured you'd have a screwdriver at home. Most people do. Does it look like we do a lot of DIY around here? But wait. No. Dad had this cool Swiss Army knife. I'm pretty sure it had a screwdriver in it. Can you find it? I think Mom put it away with the rest of his stuff. Hide in my room and wait for me. I'll go and have a look. Your room. Oh. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh my God, I'm gonna go into a girl's room. 
a screwdriver and a wire. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Wait, so they're letting the mother out? What the fuck? Screwdriver? I don't remember seeing a screwdriver, I gotta say. Maybe I should check that uh, utensil drawer. Maybe there's a screwdriver in there. I don't have an option for the drawer. Hmm. Okay. Everything that's left of dad fits in that one dusty box. I can't reach. I need to get up on something. I could easily climb on it. Everything that's left of dad fits in that one dusty box. It's locked. What? Uh, um, uh, uh, where would it be locked? I don't have a key. Yeah, a key in here. These cat, these cat, no. This drawer? No. How weird would it be if John had it? Just be like, why the fuck do you have that? Why do you have the key to my dead dad's box of stuff? I have a feeling it's gonna be that though. We're gonna have to like somehow get it without waking him up. I'm gonna fail. Hmm. Wait, what? I don't see why it would be outside of the apartment. Still raining. I'm just looking for a prompt or something right now. It's locked, right? It's locked. Can I stab it with a fart? My fork. <laughs> oh, you're worried about messing up the fork. I don't see how a towel's gonna do anything. I'm not wiping that with my towel. I don't think so. Where the heck's this key? And before mom's got it. Mom? I don't think their clock would have it, do you? It's had a different time at least. Yeah, they hid the key behind the clock hanging on the wall, right? Hmm. Where else would it be? Dad gave it to Mum for Christmas seven years ago. It was my granddad's. Mother sleep. I just don't. They don't really change the dialogue, do they? Nothing in here. Can't go like up, down, whatever's just left to right. No prompt for anything. Oh. The heck is this Kai? Let's go to my room and talk to Zach and see if he has a suggestion about a K. I have not had a boy in my room since Jeremy was helping me with homework in seventh grade. Oh. I'm sorry it's taking so long, Zach. Nah, don't be silly. I was just admiring your drawings. They're good. That old stuff? Please. It looks fine. It's way better than 
might stick drawings that I would do. I'm sorry it's taking so long, Zach. Yeah. There's no prompt in here for anything either. What the heck? Maybe I do have to actually leave the apartment for something. I guess we're leaving. Room. Yeah, that's that's some stuff in there getting washed getting clean What am I messing with? I'm messing with somebody's I can open it now. I'm messing with somebody's These stuff are clothes. I'll take her favorite card again she always forgets to empty her pockets. Oh, you think that key will be in there? It's mom's card again. I wonder what's in the pockets. Mother, let's search your pockets the way you've always taught me not to. What have we here? A hairband. A soaked Tesco's receipt. Partially dissolved cigarette. Another cigarette. Yuck. Mom's keys. Score. Hey. Score. If I take it, I don't think anyone will miss it much. I feel I do something with that to make it a lock picking machine. I'm gonna wake up at some point and be like, what are you doing? I'm like, none of your fucking business. Mom's keys. She always keeps them in her cardi. most precious things in that box. I like the cat lady CD. The dead ass looks like, just like the cat from Cat Lady. Pin for metal, I guess. That's probably true. He said a screwdriver and some wire. So there's the wire. There's the screwdriver. Nope. Okay, damn it. Nope. Zach, I found my dad's Swiss Army knife, but I don't think we have any paper clips. It doesn't have to be a paper clip. Just some wire I can bend and use as a lockpick. Yeah? There's a wire coil on the clothes peg I got from the laundry room. That might work. Show me. Yeah. This should do. Give me a sec. I'll try to get it out. And go get a sandwich? A sandwich? Hmm. Here we go. You happy with that? His voice broke. <laughs> totally, let's do this! Is what the subtitle said, but there's no audio. I think we do it like this. Oh no, they're gonna make me! They're gonna make me do the lock picking part. They're gonna make me do the lock picking part. As well, what? Well, I'm about to get the door open. I'm sure there's happy things behind that door. 
I'm pretty sure I already know what's going on behind that door. Just use button to move. for all this stuff and it's done fuck all no no oh my I, would have done anything for you. I don't know how to do it there's there's something else i thought the shaky screen but first lorelei are you absolutely certain that your mother is in there and that she's in trouble yeah then stand back don't He's gonna do break sec. down the door. John is going to kill us. It'll be fine. I promise you. Man, just one kick. I didn't even stand back like he told me. Yep. About what I expected. Rest in peace. Eh? <laughs> what the nice fuck, man? I was sick to death of you anyway. <laughs> Just look at that bitch, ain't it? Hey, here's one for the family album. Where's the camera? I want to capture this beautiful moment. Hey! That's enough! And who? The fuck are you? Leave them alone. Huh? All right. All right. Calm down, mate. You break my door, I'll break your fucking skull. Get it, mate? Well, okay. Could just unscrew the screws on like the door handle, man. Hmm, maybe. But breaking open the door is much more dramatic, okay? He's not gonna believe that. Uh, I feel like that's gonna get me stabbed. I feel like all of them are gonna get me stabbed. I'm dead. Zach! You stupid son of a bitch. Ah, yep. Why'd you do it? Roll credits. End game.
That was a short game, guys. Oof. Ah, chapter two! Achievement unlocked. Prodigal daughter for finishing chapter one. Chapter two, new girl, huh? I'm a new girl, right? Queen of Magus time? Probably. Probably. I'll wake up somewhere and be like, where am I? She's gonna be like, come here, dear. I want to talk to you. Stuff that stuff's up. How am I just standing job. there? I can do this. Have we time warped back? To catch the bus and get there on time. Oh shit, I have to catch the bus and get there on time. But I want to look at all the stuff in Lollygag. Haran! Wait! Wait! What? It sat there for five seconds. This is bullshit. No cars coming. Okay. Wait, who the heck has, like, a flag on top of their car like that? What? I'm expecting it to go the way of Cat Lady. I think she can, like, poof back to life. But I'm alive, bitch! Hmm. A little mural there. Purdy lady. I doubt I'm gonna save some time by cutting through this alleyway. I'm gonna get robbed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't have anything in my inventory. Ah, bad dog, go away! This dog's gonna be mean. Bob, a man with a van. That's right. Wonder what you get if you got to call that number. Hey, I was trying to read the top. Need transport moving house. Hey, let me out. Move your car, mate. Please. Twat. <laughs> Fish. fish and it stinks Ugh. might work I'm not picking it up with my bare hands oh okay I didn't realize we were picking oh hi kitty hey there kitty cat what were you doing in that stinking old bin? Hello, kitty cat. Can I pet the Sorry, kitty cat? I know this cat is my ticket out of this bloody alley. Shoo! I can't pick this up with my bare hands, alright? I'm not picking it up with my bare hands. Mm. I need someone to pick the fish up and use the cat. Don't you harm the cat! Looks like someone's thrown away some perfectly good veggies. What a waste. <sighs> the way I feel right now, I could probably strangle that stupid dog with it. Can I, like, come by? That's not gonna work. Hmm. Use the bag to pick up the fish. What does a cucumber have to do with anything? That's not it. 
Am I supposed to scare the cat with the cucumber? Like in all those videos you see on the internet. I'll make the cat 3D. They Somehow did. I know this cat is my ticket out of this bloody alley. Run! Go get that dog! That's <laughs> like, fuck you. Achieve a lock to achieve nothing? What? But I achieved absolutely nothing. Or did I? Karma plus one? I got a plus one karma. Whatever that is. I fed a stray cat. I'm a good person, okay? I feed stray cats. You yeah, a good kitty. Boxes? It's just a pile of dirty cardboard boxes. There's nothing in them. Hmm. It's common knowledge that cats are scared of cucumbers, right? Poor kitty. I'll just put it here, right behind him. Poor kitty. Let me oh. wait, right? What's this behind you, mate? <laughs> Cat better be okay. I can't better be okay. I'm trippy. Where am I going now? I'm not leaving this restaurant. Chains. But why? It's like a pond or something. I like duck or pigs. Yeah, you probably don't want to go out there anyway. Hmm. Oh, the dog better be okay. Cat better be one of them. What? What'd you just say? What'd you just say? Let's hope the vehicle, like, missed everybody and just smacked the telephone pole or something. Socket. Hair dryer. It's my hair dryer. I could plug something in here. Why does it want me to throw a hair dryer into a bathtub and electrify whatever? Yeah, this is interesting. Never take a bath in it again. Not after seeing Mum hanging on it. Pull out the bath plug. Leave it alone. What the heck? Is it so much time? Mm. I decided if I should try to do that. Should try to, should try to plug in that hair dryer and throw it in the bathtub. Or should I pull the plug? 
may as well be. Hmm. Pretty calm moment. What time is it? Eight eighteen. Yeah, it's about snacky time. Think about if I want to mess with this bathtub in the meantime. Rah. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Bye, our bay. I'll go get our snackies.
Hmm. I've decided I'm going to say fuck it. And throw it in the hairdryer. And probably find out that Bethany was in the water and got electrocuted. Or some shit like that. See how many times I can kill Bethany in this playthrough. Not intentionally, but still. Pull that lever. Pull that lever. Don't worry. Mm. So what this link is. When you get a plane, you have to listen to uh that. Um, I mean, there are times where it's probably appropriate to bring out your inner Karen. That's probably one of those times. We have a bunch of people disturbing others. He's probably like, I would wrap the spike toe as a manager of this aeroplane. It's been a pretty big disturbance to others. doesn't need drying. Oh. I could plug something in here. But I can't plug the hairdryer? Need mm. But wouldn't that be really dangerous? The game doesn't let me! Hmm. So I guess the choice is whether or not to drain the I can water. I take a bath in it again. Let's you go ahead and drain it. Why, why is it draining out into the floor? I can I slip. Something in here. Puddle. Someone could slip on this wet floor. I used to love jumping in the puddles when I was little. <laughs> Kid's gonna slip and fall and crack her head open on this puddle. Oh, it's gonna be my fault. I've already accepted the fact that no matter what I do, I'm gonna somehow get this kid killed like 20 times. Gunflowers! Nice grass. Nice sunflowers. I'm going to a cemetery. Uh, oh shit. Hey, this gate looks kind of familiar. You can pedals for the monster outside the door? Maybe. Maybe it'll slip and fall. Uh, uh, the equivalent of a banana peel. Alright. Whee! I can't explain why. But I feel like whatever's behind this gate is calling me. Hmm, there's not a queen of them. I guess behind this gate is there. That would be crazy, especially not behind a gate like this. It's bloody locked. Of course it is. What? Oh, it almost fell down. Kick it again. Oh. It's actually a mask. It 
it's just a creepy mask. Can't kick the door again. Rah! Nope. I don't think so. Well. I became, uh, Egg from Dead by Daylight for a second there. Hmm. You can't walk with the mask on. You can only put it on or off. But as soon as you try to move, it just takes it off. Ooh. Well, I'm supposed to stand there for X amount of time. Don't get the hair dryers for that. Until I really have to. Hmm. Until I really have to. One thing I'll miss from my old life is my bedroom. like me but I know it's not real it's all just another dream right I think I'll leave it where it is yeah hold on the wall leads to the living room and this is blocked here I still can't believe she let that evil man into our lives Where's the kid? It's empty. I promised I'd keep you safe. Ooh. Ooh. I was expecting the kid, but okay. I guess that makes sense. Wait, what? Why the fuck am I hearing her? <laughs> I just pressed all the buttons. I promised I'd keep you safe. It's empty. Why am I carrying my mother's dead head? Oh shit, I know. I'm gonna put it on that corpse, right? It looks like me. But I know it's not real. No, you can it's stay there, lady. Dream, right? 
It was the toughest sandwich you've ever had to make. The cats were like, You're making a sandwich for us, right? 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 Well, welcome back from your sandwich making expedition. Good to know you survived, you overcame. And wanted to eat your cheese. Cheese is pretty tasty, so I understand that. Oh, I'm supposed to hurt put it on that it's one. Our old fridge. Why is my head there? God. Mom. Well, they're both in their spots. There are low cushions. Around the proper bodies now. It's our old fridge. It's empty. This is a different kitchen, though. Not the same kitchen. Well, it's got a similar in terms of background, but where's the knives hanging up there and stuff? You know. I guess I go to the hall in the wall now. One wanted cheese, just try to lick the cheese grater. Just about what to play with your spring onions. It's not food for you, it's toys for them. Okay? Don't you understand that? There's a huge hole in the wall. I can see the living room on the other side. Another corpse? Is this... John? Maybe this kid would have been a gate in the field. Too bad it's firmly stuck in his hand. Oh, that's the clue. I bet it didn't have any heads on it before I put the heads on. That's not gonna work. Yeah, that wouldn't make much sense either. A pig head. Enough cash to eat cheese. Hmm. Enjoy the strange you got a hold of. Hmm. Cheese is okay as long as it's small quantities. It'd be fine. Mm. I gotta admit that one did make me jump. That one got me. Uh, hello. LT to run. 
What did I do? Look at that eyes in there. Great. That's what the puddle's for, right? not a UK outlet. It's not. <sighs> What's a UK outlet look like? Supposed to pick. Let me see. Can you explain everything you missed? Um. You didn't miss much. I also took my snack break. Right here, right? So I walked over here. And I walked through a field of sunflowers. And went to a familiar looking gate. And then on my way back, the field of sunflowers became a field of crosses. I'm just saying, doesn't this gate look kind of familiar? I think I've seen this in one of their games before. This gate looks slightly familiar. There ain't no lady of my guts who hangs around gates like these, right? Queen of Magnum. What? I can't say lady. Building that old wouldn't have power outlets in the bathroom either. Not really? Supposed to be based in Exeter. Your immersion is ruined. I explain why. But I feel like whatever's behind this gate is calling me. Nice house. This house looks kind of familiar too. Could this be my shelter in this strange world? Oh, what's this? You were Lorelai. Sadly, Dear I couldn't Lorelei. be here. Oh, she's Sadly, reading it. I couldn't be here tonight to welcome you. But please make yourself at home. The door is open. Last room upstairs is yours. Get some sleep. When you wake up, I'll be here. Oh, well, that was the area code that you posted earlier with the van on the van. Oh, okay, okay. I got a letter from the Queen of Maga. She's not here right now. What a lonely seashore. That's odd. It feels wet. That's yeah. Odd. It feels wet. Too much humidity. Um, I better not blow out those candles, man. I'm gonna kill somebody. If it's anything like the candles from the other games. Gills, oh, buddy. It almost makes this place look like home. 
Why is the rocking chair moving by itself? Oh, That's creepy. This place look like home. It's burning nicely. Why are you moving? Squeaky old stairs. Last room upstairs. I don't know how you'd be able to like relax in a house that's making creaky noises like this all the time. Be like, oh my god. Hmm. I think she's with us. Probably. She's watching us right now. Ah! Or at least one little detail from previous games. True. True. There's a strange symbol drawn on this door. It looks like a sewing needle, kinda. I guess this is where I'm supposed to be staying. But well, what if I can go in this door? God damn it, it's locked! Um, how the fuck are you supposed to sleep in this room, man? I wouldn't be able to sleep in this room. You see that head in like the... Oh wait, multiple heads are just turning to look at you. How the fuck would you be able to sleep with like moving head? Looks comfy enough. But it's gonna be hard to sleep with all these mannequins staring. Yeah, that'd be pretty tough to sleep. I think I'd just be like, you know, I'll sleep in the hallway. My whole life. All my hopes and dreams. Dead. I still remember how alive I felt this morning when I stood in front of that house. So out of breath from trying to get there on time. I was that new girl, starting a new life. Oh, the her work bus? Hmm. You must be the new girl. You're late. A bus! Waited the five seconds. And then there was this horrible dog and excuses, excuses. I'm not interested. It's bad enough that we're short of staff when you haven't had your training yet. I'm a fast learner. Well, we'll see if that's true. Hmm. You need a uniform. You can't walk around here dressed like this. Okay. Go upstairs. Maria's up in the laundry room. She'll help you find it. It's for staff and visitors, I think. I don't need anything from there. This is the main staircase leading to second floor. I can see another staircase from here. The well, name tag on this door is missing. Shouldn't I be doing something else? What? I can't go in there? You ain't reprimanded for going the wrong way. I can get to the nurse's station from here. Huh? Didn't I tell you to get your uniform? Upstairs? In the laundry? Um, <coughs> sorry. I got a little lost. 
On my way now. <laughs> I don't know There's where I'm going. For those residents who can't walk. Every law is my first day. I don't know where I'm going. It's the bathroom door. I think these are used for cleaning. By the smell alone, I can tell it's powerful stuff. I'm already... Uh, 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 sh 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 shoplift? Is it really shoplift? I'm already stealing stuff from my place of work! <sighs> so this is the staff toilet. Good to know. It's just some cheap toilet paper. I'm gonna steal the toilet paper too. That's not it. Oh. I'm gonna steal from a place where I can get fired day one. Is his name Ed Mannequins from the second game? What was his name? Ivy was the lady's name. But he's so memorable. I totally remember his name, right? I can see Lord a room door at the end of it. A Sheila. There was a puzzle in the. Uh, uh, was it Cat Lady? Where you had to tell this lady what her mom's name was. That's what it was! That van go? That was based on Orion Joys. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. Hello. Oh, I said was uh, You nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, silly me. Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, it's not your fault. I scare way too easily. I'm just silly like that. Anyway, you must be the new girl. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Laura, but everyone calls me Lorelei. That's pretty. Nice to meet you, Lorelei. And you. Have you been working here long, Maria? Well, it will be three years soon. God. Three years in this crumbling old crap hole. It's that bad. Uh. <laughs> nah, it's all right. Depends who you work with, really. Like, you can't get on with everyone, can you? Very true. Hmm. What was his name? Do you know that, Google? Uh, I think. Ivy was the lady's name. Is it Joe? I think it started with a J like John. It was Joe. What was her last name? Davis? Maybe Joe Davis, Ivy Davis, something like that. I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. I've never had a job before, but I really want to do well. You know, I want to prove that I can do this. You'll be fine. I'll look after you. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. It's right there on the shelf waiting for you. The blue one? Yep, same as mine. You'll get a couple kind of green in this light. They've been ordered, but there's some kind of delay. Ugh, I don't know. Right. Let's get changed then. Okay, you go ahead. I'll meet you downstairs by the nurse's station. Oh, 
One more thing, Lorelei. Yes? You met Zoe, the senior carer, right? The one with the big bum and, like, really bad manners. Huh? I think so. Yeah. Well, don't worry too much about her. She's got her knickers in a twist over many things, but I assure you, none of them is your fault. So, just keep smiling and she'll be alright eventually, yeah? Well, I'll try. Thanks for the heads up. Good. See you in a minute, Lorelai! Hmm. It's not so bad. Is it? It's for hand washing mostly, I think. Wash your hands. Squeaky clean. Where'd she put her, put her regular clothes? On these shelves somewhere? A Burberry more hot soca. This gray cat is stupid. What? She's adorable. Take that back right now. Uh, it's downstairs, right? Leave me! I'm out of here! Hmm? It looks shabby. Probably been used a lot. I can walk just fine on my own. Oh, I wanted to roll around in it just for fun. Playing their pipe cleaner ball and keeps taking it behind your TV. So, so, so she's playing with you because she wants you to fetch it for her. Is it? Yeah, she wants you to fetch it for her. Isn't she adorable? Hmm. Spirit of 43? Like a movie? Dollar signs! Donald Duck. Do they have permission to have Donald Duck on their screen? Disney gonna get him right now. As long as they don't have audio, Disney can't get them. Ha! Welcome sucker. I like the welcome sucker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just make your quarterly tax payments. I wonder if they actually put like a whole goddamn episode on this TV. I need captions. I need captions. What are they saying? What are they saying? What's the plot? This one guy wants him to pay his taxes or something.
Um, uh, I don't know about those doors, man. I don't know about those doors. Whoa. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder if this was an actual comic. Maybe, maybe, may, or actual cartoon. Maybe long, long ago. Oh, damn. Okay. This is a weird cartoon, man. I don't even think I need subtitles now. Now I, now I just know it's weird. It's a sub. It says Spirit of Forty Three, right? I guess that we'd be right up all, all there. Nothing was going on after 43, right? In 1943, no. We're actually not that far off from 2043. I feel old though. I keep saying something like Michael Wells Traveler or whatever. Whatever that means. They're making like warplanes, yeah. Okay. I wonder if this was an actual like episode. Probably. I don't see why they would make one. I don't see why the devs would make it. This was like an actual episode, probably. I've never seen this Donald Duck cartoon before. It's kind of like, whoa, man. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back in Nazis ruined that symbol for... Uh, is it what? Hinduism? Or whatever? Like, going, like, the symbol with facing like the opposite way is supposed to be peace or something? Been ruined. Public domain? Oh, okay, okay. Disney can't get you if it's public, though, eh? But nope, I've never seen this cartoon before. It's kind of like, whoa. I'd be kind of surprised Disney would have something like that. The Disney of today's all, you know. We'll have such uh, programming like that. Or kid-friendly or whatever you want to call it. Hmm. I wonder how long it goes on for. I think I get a steam achievement for standing here for the whole episode. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Probably. Oh, the end. I don't get what the pl plot or the point was. Sounds weird. That was weird. And no, I didn't get any achievement for watching the entire thing. Not interesting, though. I was getting a Disney history lesson. It's not what I was expecting to get from Lorelei. I get people to pay their taxes to help with the war effort. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're doing a better job of understanding than me. Who's that? You took your time, didn't you? Hey, <laughs> I, I watched a cartoon. I'm always late for everything. We'll have to work on your timekeeping. This is a serious institution. There's no room here for slackers. Well, I guess I should introduce you now. Girls, we have a new carer with us today. Her name's Laura. Hi. You've already met Maria. That's Nisha. She's from India. Hello, Nisha. And I'm Zoe. 
I'm one of the senior carers, and I'm in charge in the absence of Mr. B, the manager and the owner of Pinecroft. He's the chap who did your job interview last week, Laura. Yes, I remember him. We must ensure the place is in top shape in case he pops in to check on us. The night staff have already handed over to us and they've gone home. You missed that, Laura. Because you were late. There are 15 elderly residents living here in I five. Most of them suffer from advanced dementia and Alzheimer's. Some can be difficult. Some can be aggressive. So I'd like Laura to shadow one of you girls today. Nisha, would you mind showing Laura what to do? Can I do it? No, Maria. Nisha's worked here longer than you, and... Mr. B asked me to go around with Laura yesterday. I promised him I would. But... You don't mind, Nisha, do you? I don't mind. Thanks. You're a star, Nisha. Fine. Whatever. I'll work upstairs with Nisha, then. You two will wash and dress the ladies on the ground floor. Oh, and that new lady who moved in last night into Beryl's old room. She's yours, too. Really? Yes. She's easy. Didn't even move so far, apparently. I'm sure you can manage. You coming, Nisha? used to look way different back then, man. Hi, hiya. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. I feel right. Did Mr. B really ask you to mentor me? Nope. No. Mr. B doesn't give a rat's ass. But shush. That's between me and you, yeah? <laughs> Why did you choose to work with me? Oh, you know, I like to punish myself. No, really. That was nice what you did. No offense to Misha. But I think I'll enjoy shadowing you more. Of course you will, because I'm the best. You might well be, but your days are numbered. Just wait and see. The new girl will mm. climb right to the top. <laughs> Please do. Then you'll have to work with Zoe every day. Huh? Why? She likes to work with the best ones, so they do everything for her. Oh. Well, I think it's official. Zoe hates me. She is a bit of a bully, I told you earlier. But don't let it upset you. Like, earlier, when she was giving you shit about being late, you said nothing. Perfect. You didn't piss her off, and you kept your face. But we shouldn't really be talking about it here. So... What do we do now? We should start working, I guess. But first, let me show you a couple of things. This little desk is what we call our nurse's station. That's where we keep care files and stuff. This white door in the middle, that's kitchen. Don't bother talking to Al. He's a good chef, but he drinks too much. Everyone knows that. That's the main lounge. There's another one, but smaller. You probably went past it earlier. Fire extinguisher? <laughs> I know, boring. But you'll be getting your fire training every six months. Triangle of fire and all that. I promise you'll be sick of it. And what's that fancy panel for? That? Oh. It's the alarm bell panel. 
You see, there's a bell in every room. If someone needs help, they ring it. The display will show you the room number. You silence the bell here, and then you go see what's happening. But... No one ever uses it. Unless by accident. These poor old ladies can't even remember their own names most of the time, let alone something like this. Oh. Yeah. I think yes, that makes sense. Marjorie. She's a nice lady. Follow me. Or that. Hmm. I don't get why they'd put Mickey Mouse on their planes, but okay. I guess I should follow her. It says Marjorie on the door. That's something to about this plane, sure. Darling. Sure. What a beautiful morning, isn't it? And we have Lorelai with us today. She's a lovely young lady. She's helping us today. Hello. Not very talkative. Can't imagine why. That's a very nice room, Marjorie. Lovely flowers. I bet you have a big loving family that thinks about you all the time mm. as a matter of fact it was marjorie's 85th birthday yesterday everyone came didn't they even your brother derek from australia interesting okay what now now we get Marjorie washed and dressed. Please uh, take the two flannels from the sink. The white one is for the face. The brown one... You know. You know. I'm not gonna ask why the carpet's stained, because the, you're, the, you're the workplace, so... So... You're, you're, you're the employee, so that's basically signing yourself up for cleaning the floor. I wouldn't want to do that, man. They look kind of... crunchy. Wait, they're German? German planes with Mickey Mouse on them? Was Disney, like, pro-Germany back then or something? I don't get it. I don't get it. Hmm. No, when I'm just like, oh, okay. There's. Oh, no, that's true. It's not like Disney would like pay them to put them on their planes or anything. It's just them drawing something they liked or painting, I guess. Wait, is it a drawing or a painting? We're going to get in the technicality. Oh, we need to wash this poor lady. Marjorie's clothes are kept in there. Yeah, I should press use. I should go through her clothes. Shall we get some clothes for Marjorie? Oh, we can do that in a minute. Can't say hello to her. I guess we're going to give her a bath. I guess we're gonna give this lady a bath. Are you sure they tried to go after media that have since featured that Mickey Mouse emblem? Uh, probably, because, you know... I'd be like, uh, we don't want... advertising from those people! Yeah, that's the things to be told to get lost. Yeah, they should be. It's been like a bajillion years. Get over it. 
Now fill up the sink with hot water. I wouldn't mind having a sink in my room. I hope I picked the right one. She hasn't even got a toothbrush. She probably doesn't have teeth. She doesn't need one. She hasn't got teeth, Lorelei. Done. Marjorie, my darling. It's time for your wash. Give us a hand, would you? She can't walk on her own. And get the walker? Oh, okay. So still. Almost like a wax figure. I wonder what she's thinking right now. Man, I sure wish I had some biscuits right now. Nah, that's probably not what she's thinking. What the fact that it was used, not that it's been 80 years. I mean, isn't that kind of fair use though? If some if some person just paints something on on their plane or whatever. Like, I don't think you should be able to claim like copyright on them painting on their own plane. Well, not really their plan. I guess it'd be their government's plan, but you know. I feel like that'd be in some kind of gray area. It's not like they're using the painting for commercial purposes. They're not trying to sell it, you know? <laughs> Don't tell her I've got that stuff. She's really, what are you stealing? And now we just need to get that nightie off. It felt... wet. Yeah. The night staff only put a small pad on her. Oh, they should have known better. Anyway, shall we? Shall we? I guess so. Marjorie, could you lift up your arms for us, please? All right. You're doing really well so far, Lorelei. But now comes the tricky part. Which is? We have to wash her. Now, some people struggle at first. I'll do it if it's too much too soon. But you are welcome to try. It's up to you. Am I gonna get banned off Twitch? I'm done. I'm in. I'm in. I mean, it's that's kind of what I'm employed here for. Can't censor history. That's true. I looked at a blog a few minutes ago. Tried to see why the guy used Mickey Mouse. Had a picture of the band's full plane with a giant red triangle covering the swastika on the tail. I'm thinking, why? It's a historical photo. Yeah, I guess that's true. It seems kind of silly. Speaking of censoring, I'm probably about to get bent off Twitch. Don't mind me. Can't change fact things there, that's true. But you know how many like games have like the especially in in uh Germany they like censor swastikas and stuff out of games? Like I'm pretty sure they did that for like Wolfenstein and such. Like some some countries just do that. You don't necessarily like it. I agree with it. That's what they just decided to do. Germany like censored that. Australia has a whole like thing where they decide whether or not a game's banned. It's like what? Why not let people be adults and you know choose what they shall consume or not consume? Then you got Sony over here being like, oh my god, are those like boobs and stuff? We can't have those in our games. Oh, we had Iron Cross instead. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll do it. Okay. Brilliant. Achievement unlocked. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll get banned. It's the photo you mentioned. You can show it unedited in Germany because it's historical. Oh, interesting. 
I don't have the. Uh... I'll just have a little stretch on the bed. You will. And pretend it doesn't smell of we. Am I doing it right, Maria? Yeah. You know, Marjorie used to be just like you and me. Young and pretty, full of life. At 17, she fell in love with George. I saw him married for 50 years. Can you imagine? 50. I couldn't even last two with my hubby. But George, bless his soul, was a kind and gentle man. He'd never hit his wife. God, it broke her heart when he died. But anyway, she was just a little girl when the war started. And she saw it, you know? Bombs falling on London. The city on fire. I think I dozed off. That's a comfy bed you've got here, Marjorie. Finished. I suppose we should find some clothes now? Yep. Yeah. Open the wardrobe and find something you like. What would this lady like to wear to the... And skirt combination never gets old, I guess. Wait, Lorelei. I'll help you with this. Wait, does she want me to pick the fancy red dress? <gasps> Marjorie! You look absolutely beautiful. Let's take you to the lounge so everyone can admire this smashing outfit. <laughs> All right, we've got one ready for the day. Now we can go to Dorothy. She's only next door to Marjorie, where we've just been. Or we can try Alma. Her room's just past the nurse's station. Your call. Oh, uh, doesn't matter. Let's go see Dorothy next. Okie doke. Let's go. Basically, it's everybody if it's a media creative entertainment, it's a legal show, if it's a documentary, it can be shown. That's just weird. Oh, I know that. I wonder what happens if I try to go around the wrong door. Nothing? She won't be like, where are you going, stupid? You don't care, huh? It says... Dorothy on the door. So That's what Dorothy. plane that was. Oh, Dorothy likes her sleep. She could stay in bed all day. That's one thing we have in common, Dorothy and me. Because otherwise, she's a grumpy old hag, especially first thing in the morning. Hello, Dorothy. Rise and shine. 95. I know you're awake. Now, that's very rude, sweetheart. Come on, lovely. Up we go. I 
I think Dorothy could use a bit of sun. To go hiss like a vampire. It's not the B word I was expecting. Top of the morning to you, Dorothy. Job done. Alma's up next. I'll meet you outside her room. I just gotta skip a hole. Give it her a bow. You're talking about her life story? Who cares about her life story, huh? Uh. She left. Garden door. I will fight her where Alma was. That's probably the new one because there's no nameplate. There's some piece uh, barrel or whatever they said her name was. Maybe devs can't give all old peeps backstories. What? Poor devs. Poor poor devs. Uh oh. doing on the floor are you okay oh no is she okay come on the other side and give me a hand Lorelai you just chill she must have fallen while getting off the commode Lucky lady, not a scratch on you. But. God, I'm gonna feel all that lifting in my back for a week. So thanks for that, Alma. It's not her fault. I know, I know. But now we have to write an accident report and clean this mess on the floor. What is it anyway? I don't know. But I'll have a look. Nah, I don't wanna look. I don't wanna look in there. Or not paper. I thought it was just like toilet it's paper. Like a letter. Hmm. It's a very old letter. A whole bunch of them actually. Based on the Alifax? Probably. I gotta read it. We're gonna be nosy. My darling wife. I am writing this letter in case I don't make it through tomorrow. We have just received orders to attack. First thing in the morning. It's his last letter, isn't it? I have a bad feeling about this. And I think, should the worst happen, you ought to know one thing about me I've never told you before. Ah, the rest has been torn off. Jesus, Alma. You kept this with you all that time. And now you wipe your ass with it? You don't know what the rest of the letter said. The rest of the letter might have said, might have said right. I cheated on you. Come on. Now it's time for a I have a secret break. family. What? So soon? 
What do you mean soon? It's half past ten already. Really? Time flies when you're having fun. I'll put the kettle on. But before we go, can you take the dirty laundry upstairs and chuck it in the wash? Yeah. I've left the laundry bag by the nurse's station. It's full of dirty nighties and wet sheets. Yuck. I don't think you'll be doing much better by the time you're 85, 95, whatever. Where was the laundry room? Upstairs, I think. Where the heck he the heck was upstairs? Got some other ladies here. Hoover? I, hope I don't have to use it. It probably takes hours to hoover this place. You know you're gonna have to you use it, right? Told me to hoover. And I really hope they don't. Is that what they say instead of like vacuum and tell you to hoover? Ooh, ooh, why instead of vacuuming? We'll call it hoovering. It sounds fancier that way though. It makes it sound like you're using fancy technology. Washing in a place like this. That's where the dirty laundry goes. I use the chlorine tablets. You all right? I'm good. And you? Mr. B just called. He won't be coming in today. He'd crashed his car this morning. Oh! Apparently, some dog chasing a cat ran out in front of it, and he drove into a lamppost to avoid running them over. <laughs> then I thought you mentioned a dog earlier. You wouldn't have anything to do with this, would you? <laughs> What are the chances? Don't be ridiculous. I feel like you'd blame me for anything at this point. And that's really unfair, you know? I'm doing my best here, so please stop picking on me. But Laura, I'm just trying to teach you some respect. I mean, you're the one who was late to your first day at work, so I don't really feel like that last one's like... Like, I can understand why she'd be annoyed. Because, you know, you're late. Fine. If you feel like I lack respect, I'll try harder now. Having this job is important to me. I will do anything to keep it. In that case, go and make us all a cup of tea. Oh, Maria's already on it. Go on then, or I'll be down shortly. Oh, I'd ask her to put plenty of milk in it. She always forgets. I do say Hoover? It's kind of a colloquial term given that Hoover is a brand. Hmm. That makes sense. Sometimes when people uh, say like soda, they just say Coke instead. And they don't actually mean like Coca Cola, they mean like soda in general. 
What they'll call tissues, Kleenexes, and then some brand name. Probably some other ones I could think of. All right, the red mug is yours. Mmm, it smells Pop lovely. Tart. Oh, I met Zoe upstairs. She asked for a cup of tea as well. Yeah, I made it. I always make it. The yellow mug is Zoe's. Did you put plenty of milk in? Yes. Looks almost black to me. Ugh, I don't know. I don't drink tea. You know, we don't want to piss her off more, so... You go ahead. I'll get more milk from the kitchen and join you in a minute. Oh, you're a gem. Thanks! Wait, what about Nisha? Oh, Nisha drinks water. She's all right. All right, Pop-Tarts. You don't say toaster pastry, you say Pop-Tart. Even if it's not Pop-Tart brand. We don't talk to Alra. Bring the cook is on fire, is he now? It's a big fridge. Semi-skimmed. Seems about right. I don't think Zoe should be using the full fat one. <laughs> Wasn't there some kind of study done that uh, showed that uh, skim milks actually are, are not as good because they like put sugar in it or something? So whole milk's actually better than like low fat milk or whatever. So they throw a bunch of sugar in there. I don't know. I don't know. I like how there's just one apple. I don't think that's proper storage for that pot up on the top shelf. I don't feel like that'd meet standard requirements. There we go. Wait a second. What's this? What, the laxative? No, I couldn't. No, no, she's thinking about, oh, she's thinking about putting the laxative into her drink. No, we're not that mean. It's day one. You were late for work. Don't be a bitch. Be a bitch on your next playthrough. You're gonna be a bitch on our first playthrough. Yellow mug was hers. This is Zoe's. Let's add more milk before she starts another war. Not so much milk, she'll be like, too much milk. Ugh. Hmm. Coffee. I'll just leave it here for Zoe. Oh, okay. I don't have to take the milk back. Ah, sunshine! Yay! Praise the sun. <laughs> Praise the sun. It's from a. Oh, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Praise the sun. Do you want one? No, thanks. I don't smoke. Oh, fair enough. I'd go on a killing spree without my fags, I think. They'd be bloody. What? Anywhere. Really? You don't seem to be like that. Yeah, but. This don't job say that word around so here. so bloody stressful sometimes. Like, you have no idea. I'd go mental. Oh, go on, have one. It's not gonna kill you. It just might. No, really, I'm all right. <laughs> Your loss. I'm having two then. You're six, so, have however many you want. Why do you want to work here of all places? Well, I couldn't afford to go to college, 
so that kind of limits my choices. But I can't stay at home anymore either. The sooner I move out, the better. And for that, I need money. Oh, so you can like rent a place. Cello tape's another one. Don't ask for sticky tape. You ask for cello tape. Hmm. Well, over here they usually call it scotch tape. I and mean, scotch is a brand too. They don't say sticky tape, but they say scotch tape. Semi skimmed pro for wink. I'm thinking more of a one way ticket to New York. What? I kind of hoped you'd stay. The thing is, I really want to get as far away from my stepdad as possible. He's just a big bag of shite. Has he... I'd never let him. God, I'd rather die. Uh, but you know, it'll be okay. You'll stand on your own two feet and none of that will matter. And in the meantime, if you need a friend... <laughs> I suppose you've got plenty of friends already. Oof. Well, there's Zach who lives next door. He's a geek, all right. But he's kind of cool. He waited for me this morning just to give me an umbrella. Zach? Is he American? Nah. He just likes to be called Zach for some reason. I think he likes me more than I like him. He'd almost asked me out today, but he chickened out at the last moment, I think. Sounds like a decent bloke. Give him a chance. Maybe I should. I don't know. All my friends from school just moved on. Even my best mate, Carrie. She still texts me once a month. But she never comes over anymore. It's fine. Can't imagine why. She's got enough going on. You should try internet. It's what I do. I'm in this group and we talk about kids mostly. I can't go on the internet. My mum won't pay for the Wi Fi. Wait. Did you say you got kids? Yeah, I got two boys. I was only 17 when I had Kieran. And Sam. I seven. Only two years later. You married then? No. <laughs> Me and you. We should be friends. I agree. Unless. Unless you'd rather be friends with Zoe. Hmm. This is the good karma run. I'm pretty sure I won't make all the choices to get all the good karmas. It'll be a neutral run. <laughs> neutral problem no way that's ever gonna happen i bumped into her upstairs earlier and she was just being horrible again i mean what is her fucking problem oh she's just insecure i told you well i won't let her bully me she'll give it up soon <laughs> once you get to know her she ain't so bad <laughs> you'll see Heard of scotch tape too. We should probably get back now. It's time to see that new lady. Okay. 
I'll meet you outside her room. It's upstairs. What's her name? Oh, um, Retta, I think. Yeah, I remember someone's mentioned she was an artist, and she's got some creepy-ass paintings in her room. But she's new, so she hasn't got a name tag yet. Just look for the door with no name tag on it. Cozy. Let me just sit on this bench. And just take a nap. I'll be like, where'd you go? It must have been used for spraying plants and flowers. It's in my spray bottle now. We're gonna spray chlorine on things. There's no water in the bottle. Oh, I need to put water in the bottle. I'm gonna make a chlorine spray. It leads back inside Pinecroft. Okay. Okay, well now I know it's a system. Upstairs. Door with no name tag. Hey, babe. I can get to the nurse's station from here. my restroom hmm. no, I'm not using that sink I was gonna put water in the bottle but not that sink not that sink this one right I guess she's waiting inside the tag on this door is missing I guess she's inside Some nice paintings. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, 10 out of 10 paintings. 10 out of 10. Are you Greta? What are we talking about? She didn't last long. <laughs> oh, is she still alive? Well, this is it. Rest in peace, my love. Oh, never mind. Come on, let's go, girls. Laura, you stay. Look, in a place like this, you see people die. Sometimes a year goes by and they're all fine. And then you suddenly get three dead in one week. You never really get used to it, but there's something you have to accept if you want to work here. And most of all, don't blame yourself. It was Greta's time to go. That's all it is. You uh, think you're going to be all right, mate? Oh, wow, that's mean. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Let's go then. There's still lots to do. She had 10 out of 10 grabbly voice. Are you sure you'll be okay? Yeah. 
I'll be fine. Let's just keep busy. What's next to do? Oh, there's like a million things. But first, I bet there's always a million things. Do you play chess? No. Uh oh. to let her win you see the lightning? It's gonna rain in a minute. Well, that's just bloody fantastic, isn't it? And another one. Oh, come on. My back is aching. I just want to go home now. Is there anything left to do? Nah. They're all in bed now. We'll just hang around the nurse's station trying to look busy and wait for the night staff. Let's go then. It's getting chilly out here. Ooh, thunderstorm! Ooh! The sly response given she's the one that turned up late. <laughs> That's true. I don't know. I feel like being mean to Zoe, he's kind of like. What? Because I'm the one who was late for work, but I can totally understand why she'd be annoyed about that, because that inconveniences her. I don't really feel like she's got like stand on, stand on with this whole uh, being mean to her thing. She can be a grumpy teenager next playthrough, I guess. Oh, dude, who knows what? What? Me, I can't go up those stairs. I guess I'm going main hall. You can hear him breathing out here. I don't. I don't call bullshit. You wouldn't be able to hear people breathe out in the hallway. My ears aren't that good. Do you hear that? No. Exactly. Nice and quiet. At last. Oh, bloody hell. Why did Jinxed I say it. that? What is it? It's the bell alarm. Someone just pressed it by mistake. It happens. Can you check the panel for me? Yeah. Just give it a whack. It'll silence it. The sound it makes is really annoying. But I can't just give it a whack, can I? But... Zoe will go mental if I break it. Which room is it? It says 11. Room 11. Aye, aye. Room 11? 
Yeah, why? Whose room is it? Are you sure it's sure is it? 11? Well, yes. Come over here and see for yourself. Come on. Who lives in that room? Greta. The dead lady. Uh-oh. Shit. Are these maggots? Ugh. Oh, I hate maggots. But we maggots. still need to get in there and switch the bell off. Where's Zoe? She's doing the meds now. And when Zoe's doing the meds, it's generally best not to talk to her. Why is Greta's body still there anyway? Oh, they'll take it later tonight. Right. Then... Let's find a way to get rid of these... things. I need to get rid of these maggots. 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 You know what that means, right? There's maggots. Can I use the... I can't use that sink yet? How am I supposed to... Where do I go to refill? I thought I needed water, right? I don't know what toilet paper's for, though. Oh, wait. Jack and I thought I couldn't take the stairs and I'm about to be like, wait! It's dark. sit in the dark think about our life choices Laura has a bit of me 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 to her true she's a teenager though didn't we all have a bit of me 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 to ourselves when we were teenagers can I borrow your sink alone makes my eyes sting. Oh, you were all pro, pro, pro. Uh-huh. Sure. Sure, 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 Pruffle Wink. Now's not a good time. Hmm, don't want to let me go in the doors that have sinks. I just play that cartoon on loop, huh? I don't need anything from there. Hmm. Nice angle. I could have used the sink from the laundry room too. I have a few sinks around. Kind of silly you can't use the one in that bathroom right there, even though 
It's right there. didn't like that, did they? Horrible little buggers. Yeah. So, we're going in? Uh, no, no, no. You know me, I get scared of my own shadow. Maria, I don't want to do this on my own. There's no way I'm going in there. Sorry, Lorelei. Fine. I'll go and turn off the bell. But you owe me. Ah, Nisha! Nisha, help us! This thing has noisy plumbing. Are those maggots? Maggots, that's right! These are maggots! Maggots! Why are there maggots everywhere? There's not a queen involved with these maggots, is there? We're not gonna let you check it out. Now, how do I turn it off? Press it. That's just the light. But where's the bloody button that turns it off? Oh. What a storm after such a beautiful sunny day. It's proper raining now. she managed to grab the spell that's a good question isn't it since she keeled over on the floor like right over here how is she holding that bell now She don't make the same mistake that I did. When you make deals with the devil, the devil always wins. Uh -oh. Gonna need lots of soap. <laughs> Who's laughing? Scare, hold you tight. What? No! Uh, Pruffle pillow. There you go. Oh, mate, you should have seen your face. 
What? <laughs> you nearly shot yourself. <laughs> Didn't she, Nisha? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so going on YouTube. This is kind of a dick move, that's dick. This was a prank. <laughs> well, what do you think it was? Dead people don't ring their bells, do they? But we rang the bells, silly. Not Greta. <laughs> you really believed it was her, didn't you? <laughs> Precious. You said you scare easily, and then you pull off something like this. <laughs> like I'm gonna be scared of one dead lady. I've seen a hundred of them. They don't bother me no more. But she... Oh, for God's sake, it's just a body. It's not like it's gonna grab you and eat your brains or something. So it famous last word. Didn't move? Of course it didn't. It's just lying there like a sack of potatoes. This wasn't funny, Maria. I thought we were friends. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. It was just a joke, for fuck's sake! Would it have been funny if it had been done to you? I don't think so. It's too probably explain all the places short-staffed. I know, right? Well, I'm glad you're all right, Mr. B. But you shouldn't have worried. Except for Greta, sadly, passing away. Well, everything's been hunky-dory. Oh, and that new girl, Laura. Or is it Laura Loy? Yeah. She's done all right. Still a little rough around the edges. But I think we could make a good carer out of her. Cheers for the umbrella, Zach. Yeah, good call with the umbrella. Achievement unlocked, new girl. We finished chapter two! And here I am now. Bet you'd embrace one of these pillows. Chapter three, a lonely seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Comfy enough. No time for sleeping. I can't believe she actually managed to sleep. It leads back to the upstairs corridor. How many eye numbers have we had so far? Probably five or six. Is there a queen of maggots available to talk to now? There's a strange symbol drawn on this door. Still locked. Uh, Stilla. Stilla. These stairs lead back to the kitchen. Alright, I ate. Oh, oh hey! Shy. Come in, Lorelei. I'm cooking you a stew. What? It's about time you had a nutritious home cooked meal, don't you think? But 
What? What is this place? And who are you? This house is my humble kingdom. And I'm your new best friend. Your best friend? I knew your mother. And your father. And now, I'm getting to know you, Lorelei. Remember the number besides I-8? There's also 17, so I-7 as well. I'm just gonna zoom in. Zoom! Hmm. It's dark. Uh-oh. Candles! You know what that means! Any 16 and 50? Or I6, sorry, 5. Uh, I don't think so. Could be wrong. Nice throne. They call me the queen. really let people in. They have no business here in my place of rest. But I thought that for you, I'll bend the rules and give you some of that motherly love poor Miranda failed to deliver. For me? Why? See, I've been around a long time. Born out of darkness to burrow my tunnels deep in the wicked human hearts. But your heart is different, Lorelei. Because you're a survivor. A survivor? Me? I certainly did not survive my throat slashed open with a sharp piece of glass. Sometimes dying is not the end. Don't you know that, Lorelai? Bullshit! Where's my dad then? Where's mom? Gone. Now I'm gone too. Perhaps you are stronger than them. After all, when someone's will is strong enough, even the death cannot stop them. I think you are really overestimating who I am, strange lady. And who are you, really? Who do you see when you look in the mirror, Lorelei? Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Ask because you wonder if it's counting down? Hmm, good question. Maybe they did it just so people would post in the forums for their uh, game and be like, Why are there eyes instead of ones? Just so they could be like, hee 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 laugh at us. Maybe, maybe it's that reason. Maybe I am a survivor. I've been through so much shit. But I'm still holding on. Dad found out he was 
was sick, he fought till the end. And when he died, I promised him I'd do the same. I'd fight for my dreams and make them real. And be the person he'd want me to grow into. A decent human being. What does it matter now? I can't turn back the time. Mm, no, but with my help, there is still something you can do. Let's take a little walk, shall we? Means nothing they've done it because of her name. That's possible. We're taking a journey back through our childhood. <laughs> hmm. Let me out. Could be from her name. I have to take a little walk. I'm gonna go back this way, right? It doesn't let me go back. It doesn't let me go back. Crap. This last memory of your life. Pretty dreadful, even for my standards. What's he doing to Beth? Finishing the job. I believe he will drown her, Lorelei. You'd like to stop that man, wouldn't you? Yeah. But how? It's too late! And what if I told you that it was not? What? I'll bring you back to life. You'll carry on right from where you died. Then, you can pull Bethany out of that evil man's fingers. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, she did, all right. And... you really can do that? Most certainly. But, there's a price for that. I'll pay it. It's nothing, really. I just want you to fetch something for me. That's <laughs> not dead wolf pelts. I zero, by the way. That I zero wolf pelts, is it? <laughs> it's not ten wolf pelts, is it? Nothing as tedious as that, I assure you. I just need one. Final ingredient for my stew. Here's so a fin of shark. What? Just a slice. Really? You want me to kill a shark? Oh, there's one already dead not far from here. Where? Look for the lonely seashore. Painting? The painting? What a lonely seashore. I step in the plankton.
you belong in the ocean, not here. It's Death Stranding now in 2D. I know, right? Achievement unlocked. You belong in the sea. Yeah! I'm just putting you back where you belong, man. Karma plus one. Hooray. Has someone been digging here? That's a huge padlock for such a tiny shed. I'm gonna stare at this padlock real good. Staring contest. Carjack. This could be useful. Looks steady enough. That's a shark, all right. I think there's something stuck inside the shark's jaws. There's something inside the shark. If only I could get these jaws open. Okay. Okay. Hi, I like how she said the same thing I said. Okay. Like, uh, just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Just accept it. I don't even want to know how this ended up inside the shop. Look okay, and watch it. And 720p, 30 frames per second. Hmm. Does it change or just show the shore? I wonder why it's just. Why does it not show a movie? Hmm. Well, this is it. But I only want a slice. I don't have anything to slice with, though. I'll need something to cut it off. In the shed, perhaps. Squeaky old ladder. Shovel can work though. Hmm. I guess I'll try it, but wouldn't a shovel be more of a blunt instrument than a cutting instrument? Not clean, but it still get the job done. And since it's already dead, maybe. Nope. Oh, she said no. She says no, get good, Gina. Get good. Work on your detective skills. I'm thinking more of the shovel for the padlock. That's not gonna work. What? I think it could work. I saw this spot on the video. Could there be something buried underneath? It would take me ages to dig here with just my hands. Ooh, hello person. The skeleton looks ancient. Poor chap. Stabbed right in the gut. Perfect. I could really use a knife. Rest in peace, dude. You could at least rebury him, you know? That's 
that's not it. Shovel is yeah, the shovel. A shovel could work. It's enough strength, but. I'm still waiting for the shark to come to life and go like Wah! Zombie shark ah! Oh, hello It's blocking my way Get out of my way! Huh Is it a key? Well, aren't you a very strange key? Neptune? What? She said Finn. The whole thing, the Finn, not just a piece. Oh, she said she just wanted a slice, right? She just wanted a slice. Therefore, it's fine, okay? Could this be my way out of here? Could it be my way out of here? I figured I'd just look out to the sea long enough and then I'd just go, woo! I guess not. I guess I have to go through there and I go through there now, right? I've got it. Yes, put it in the pot, would you? Eat, my child. This hot stew will make your heart beat again. I've never had shark before. It's quite nice. Indeed. And should you ever come back, there's plenty left for later. Oh, I'll be back, all right. It would be a shame to waste it. I'll be back, I'm sure. It's time for you to have your revenge. Rosebury Lane. God, I hate that place. But I'm ready. This is your second chance. Don't waste it. Now I just talk things out. Hmm. Oh, there's a shark. Oh. Okay, evil, evil shark. Interesting. Interesting. I'm coming to save you, Bethany. I'll see about that. Unlock three lonely seashore. That's a short chapter. Chapter four. A second chance.
Cuties! Uh-oh. Zach wasn't dead. Uh. He wasn't dead. He probably just knocked out. Well, this is a whole bunch of shit. Uh, I think you gotta get the authorities involved by now, man. Even if you don't want to. Hey, Bear Canvas, what's up? What's up? And how's it going? There's not really much you can do there. GG no RE. What? What do you mean by RE? Replay? This has me wondering based on something Queen Mag said in the second game. Oh, does it now? I can't even call the police. They'll just take Bethany and put her in foster care. I can't take that risk. Just look at her. She needs me. Let's just try to calm down. I need a moment to collect my thoughts and figure out what to do next, I guess. How's your head, Zach? It's all right, I think. It was just a little bump, really. And my glorious hat took most of the impact, too. It's glorious hat. You saved us back there. Me? Nah, I just... Oh, shut up. You did. If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead now. Let's just agree it was a team effort. Except, you really had no business in helping me. Well, maybe I did. I mean, we just want the end of that dude who had whacked him over the head. And was about to murder your friend. Remember once we were playing Dark Souls in the forest and I was dead like no health fighting this dude and I pulled off the most clutch parry I've ever seen edit him. Yeah! I like to try parrying in PvP. That was like ten years ago. Well, yeah, I was like about like ten years ago, yeah. Time flies, doesn't it? Time flies! Never mind what? Oh, never mind. You need no rematch. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. You get you get a rematch though. It's called a new playthrough. That's that's your new playthrough. That's your new rematch. No, oh, I was like ten years ago. I'm an old lady now. Get off my lawn, everybody. Oh. I don't see how running away is going to fix it, though. I like the cat lady uh, poster thing or whatever that is on the table. And there's a downfall poster on the wall right underneath the Dr. Cyclops. First I'll run the katana plus be like curve sword. What? Only one? Darn it. I was trying out stuff. Hey yeah, Maggie said her name now. Well she did, she did. I found that interesting at the moment when we were playing that game. Because you know this game was already out by then. It's like 
So, you think it's like some kind of time loop fight? And she becomes like the Queen of Maggots? Maybe. Maybe that kind of thing? She did say her name was Lorelai. Which I thought was interesting because of this guy. That's the connection. It's possible she just took Lorelai's name and said it was her name. Or maybe she does steal your soul or whatever. Claims it for yourself. I think you're just getting dealt a tougher hand than most people. Why is everything in life got to be so fucking hard? All I ever wanted was to have a normal, happy life. I shouldn't have to worry about my mum's drinking and John harassing me. And I shouldn't have to look after a baby that isn't even mine. It's not always gonna be this way. Then why is everything I do a fucking failure? You know, that's what happens. You're gonna fail. You're gonna fail ten times, a hundred times, maybe even a thousand times. But that's okay. Failure isn't permanent. You get back up and you keep going. And this time, you're gonna be stronger, wiser, and you're gonna be better. You wanna live your own life and be free of the past? Then stop worrying about failing. Stop being afraid. Just love the dream you want to achieve. And never, ever give up. Why do you talk like some old Chinese wise man? You're only a couple years older than me. I... I watch motivational videos on YouTube. <laughs> I'm about to be like, that's deep, man. That's deep. That's so deep. I come by and say my hellos and back to lurking. That's okay. Hello. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your lurking. Hmm. <laughs> Or la, la, or uh, la. Well, remember Death Stranding with uh, Amelie, and you were like, and you were like, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. It's basically the same thing that you're suggesting with uh, Lorelai. It's all a lie. Am a lie. Or a lie. Maybe take out the L and place it with a Y, and it's you're a lie. Was that game? Yeah, that's, that was the game with the name, and you're like, "Oh, wait a minute." It's good advice, though. Thanks. This is a cool place. What do you actually do? Oh, I make video games. Really? That's awesome. Well, they're pretty shit, to be honest. They can't be that I wonder bad. if this guy's supposed to be the dev. I mean, people are buying them, right? Some people enjoy them. That's true. But I'm hardly Hideo Kojima. <laughs> well, I don't know who this Heidi Kojima is, but I'm sure one day you'll make a great successful game. You reckon? Well, of course. As long as you put your heart and soul into it. In my experience, the heart and soul means nothing without a million dollars spent on advertising. Maybe you're only saying that because your heart's been somewhere else. <laughs> I wonder where. I wonder where. Same thought. Hey, you thought it was maybe this like self insert this dev? Maybe. What is the significance of that eye number? No, no, it's just to mess with you, though. Just to mess with you. It's red herring. What games did you make? I mean, I admit I don't know much about it. 
My dad had a console, and we used to play together back in the day. You probably never heard of them. There's thousands of indie games out there these days. Oh, come on. I want to know. He's embarrassed. What was the first one about? It's called... The Dog Gentleman? Ha! <laughs> okay. It's about this chap who really loves his dog, but it gets kidnapped by cats. <laughs> she even unlocked the dog, gentlemen. Press start. What? The cat lady, the dog, gentlemen. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, press A, actually, not start. Press start to get off. All you do is run left and right and, and press the attack button to attack with your leash. What? What? Who do you fight? Oh, it's mostly all sorts of zombie cats. But luckily, your leash attacks are powerful enough to cut them in half. No, not the zombie cats. Don't watch, Chloe. Whoa, Ella. Why are they trying to give me a heart attack? God damn. Why are they trying to give me a heart attack? Sounds cool, man. Why are they trying to give me a heart attack? The sequel is up climb? Hmm. What other games did you make? Oh. You wanna hear more? Okay. Two years ago I made this odd little thing called Ice Cube Battles. I wanted to tap into that stupid everyday object simulator craze. You made a game about ice cubes? Mm hmm And they fight until they melt. I'm just trying to imagine it. She can unlock ice cubes. <laughs> huh? Sounds kind of silly to me. It's only 99 cents. I mean, sure, it might not be the best game ever, but... Actually, yeah. It sucks balls, really. Not too proud of that one. Mm. What other games did you make? Well, after the dog gentleman, I felt like I needed to make something short and snappy to generate some cash. Because, for whatever reason, only five people bought it. So I made the Herring Strangler, a game where you're herring and you escape from a fishmonger to jump back into the sea. And how did that go down? It did not make it into the featured section. Let's just say that. But at least I learned games about fish do not sell. What other games did you make? I... I don't want to bore you. Oh, come on. I wouldn't have asked if I wasn't interested. Fair enough. Well... I once tried to make something deeper. Something... meaningful. And that's how Cadaver's blood came to be. Except, the more I worked on it, the more it became a first-person zombie shooter. These are at least popular, right? Oh. Yeah. It might have got overwhelmingly negative reviews, but still. 10,000 copies sold in the first week. In my book, that's a job well done. Yeah, that's not too bad. What other games did you make? I actually made this great game once. It was pretty fantastic. You wake up on an island, and you're all naked, except for a rock and a torch. There's other players that try to kill you and steal your shit, too. And as you go on exploring and gathering resources, you learn how to survive, build bases, craft stuff, that sort of thing. But just as I was about to release it, some other guys stole my idea and beat me to it. I think I've heard of this one. What a shame. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, Dust would have been the greatest game I ever made. 
I'm already playing one though. What other games did you make? I've rumbled on enough. I'm sure you've had enough listening about it. I'm running away tonight with Bethany. No oh, up climb. Uh, where are you gonna go? Missed opportunity. I'm sure it's a good idea. What choice do I have? They'll take Bethany from me if I stay. We won't let that happen. You're her sister. And you're an adult, aren't you? Only just. It's still pretty obvious that she'd be better off in your care. Hmm. I mean, she's got no one else left in the world, has she? If she's legally an adult, maybe she could get custody? I copied Dust and made Rust. I was wondering, I didn't remember the name of the game. But I know what game he was talking about because I was like, oh, I've seen like footage of that one. I know what he was talking about, but I've never played it. I didn't know what it's called. I copied the idea in the first place, but I'd like to. Well, not copied the idea so much as they had a similar idea. So I made a similar game. It's not like no one else is ever going to think about an idea you've had. In the same time span, be like, hmm. Like, really, the idea of waking up naked on an island and then having to, like, survive? Isn't that all that far-fetched an idea that I could see multiple people thinking of it, making that? Not like they added zombie cats into it. Come on now, if they had zombie cats, then I'd be like, what? You stole my idea! Hmm, I don't like the second option. That's relying on him too much. No. And neither do I. You know, I'd... Yeah? No. It's nothing. Forget it. Why are you being so nice to me, Zach? Because, you know... Everyone else seems to be a twat lately. You could have said no when I came asking for help, but you didn't. Why? Well, if a lifetime of playing video games teaches you one thing, it's that the hero always rescues the princess. <coughs> That's not the only reason, though. Airball. Airball. Oh, man. I don't know. Zach, no. You do. I want to know why the computer's facing backwards. Do you really want me to say it? No, especially after Minecraft. I have to look at how popular zombie games was because just because one or two games had success. That's true. Them from similar games because of them one or two took off. Mm hmm. Once something takes off, there's a bajillion clones of that thing. Say it, Zach. Okay. I. It's like, shut up! What's wrong? Oh, can you not smell it? Jesus. Did they feed you that stinking curry for dinner too? Oh. Yep. Code brown situation. And I'm guessing you don't have any clean nappies in your flat anywhere. I doubt it. Sorry. I stopped using them a long time ago. <laughs> Fuck. What do we do? Well... I can't get them from my flat. Because I really don't want to go back there. We'll have to improvise. We need to clean her up and change her nappy. Uh, sounds tricky. Look, I've washed a bunch of old women today. How hard can it be with a baby? Well, I don't know. I'm a total noob with babies, remember? Do you have anything here I can use? Other than my beanie hat. Nope, I don't think so. Your beanie hat. This could totally work. What? No! <laughs> it's a limited edition Breaking Bad beanie. 
You're gonna say no to a baby? <laughs> Fine. Right. It'll work. I just need to make some adjustments. I don't get how a hat can become a... Have a look around? I don't get how a hat could be a diaper. Or nappy, as she says. bedroom door. This room belongs to Zach's flatmate. I'm pretty sure he's out right now. He's sneaking to his room. No, there's no need to be judgmental about it. It's just a box of tissues. Mm -hmm. No need to be judgmental. Still making my way back to the On. This looks like it could absorb liquid really well. I remember TV ads for this stuff. Apparently, it can absorb insane amounts of liquid. Why does the fridge say Lorelei on it? Someone's been playing with fridge magnets. Huh. I guess Zach really likes me. Look at all the Wordle inspired games. Next Wordle. This is it a game with words? Boys' bathroom. I am not expecting much. No toilet paper. Boys will be boys, I guess. Savages! This is where Zach keeps his toiletries. Yes. I think I will need a pair of scissors. Hmm. I use the toilet. I don't need to go right now. Good. I mean, I can fight to fight mode, not to that. What did I say? Audubon. Did Audubon say something? That's what I'm saying. I take it up my way. Uh, that's, that's what it's implying. If there's no toilet paper, what are you supposed to use? This place is like a mirror reflection of our flat. I can get to the front door this way. Big ass TV. It's Zach's front door. Oh my gosh, do they really want me to murderize that poor beanie? Now, let's make two holes for Bethany's tiny legs. I'll have to get a new Breaking Bad hat. Done. Mm. I don't know. I'm using the phone. I don't see the Audubon message. I don't see it. Could just use a shirt. I really could. Well, all I'm telling you is there's no bidet. Do you see one? I don't see one. I'm just going to have to use this over here, right? Right? You have to use the shower. Wait. These kitchen towels should keep Bethany dry. Perfect. What? The point of the tissues, though. Nope.
Maybe it was an alternate option aside from the paper towels. I'll use these to clean Bethany up. Oh, okay. Guess that makes logical sense. He's actually quite good looking in his own weird way. Aww. You two look very cute. Uh huh. And look, she stopped crying. Yep. You okay? Yeah. Well, I am. But the smell is strong with this one. <laughs> I've got everything. Give her to me, Zach. What was that voice, man? Can you sure what? No. One happy baby. It boggles my mind how such a cute little thing can produce so much stink. Who could that be? At this hour? No idea. Let's see. Hello, officer! Could you explain the suicide murder next door? No, officer, I have no idea. Constable, is that what you call it? Evening to you both. I'm Officer Manly. We Manly? We've a call from one of the neighbors. Apparently, there's been a domestic next door in Flat 7. You guys hear anything? Yes. I live in Flat 7. Right. What's your name? Laura Wood. And the chap? He a boyfriend of yours? Zach's my neighbor. Okie dokie. So, you want to tell me what happened? And don't look so frightened. I'm here to help you, not shoot you. <laughs> my mom hanged herself in the bathroom. I'm real sorry, Miss Wood. And then John came. He made fun of her being dead. And who's John? Her partner. He'd always been horrible and violent to her, but she never did anything to stop it. I see. Carry on. Well, he attacked me and Zack. Knocked us both unconscious. And when I woke up, I saw John running a bath full of water. He had my baby sister and... He was going to drown her. Jeez. Why would he do that? He's always hated her. He wouldn't have stayed with us if Mum hadn't gotten pregnant. To John, that little girl has always been just a nuisance. A burden he wanted to be rid of. Right. Carry on. We tried to stop him, of course. Not even gonna take notes, man? He fell over and knocked his head on the loo. I think he's dead. It looked nasty. I just grabbed the baby and ran here. Why didn't you call the police? Good question. I... I didn't know what to do. And I was scared you'd take my little sister away and... Miss Wood. We are police officers, not baby snatchers. But... Where is the baby now? She's in my room. She's fine. Right. Good. Here's what we'll do. You, young man, will stay here and watch the baby. Miss Wood, you will follow me. We're gonna join in with my partner inside your flat. 
You okay with that? I don't really want to go back there. But I guess there's nothing to be afraid of now. <laughs> Follow me. I don't trust this guy. He's gonna stab me to death with a piece of glass or something. Two back billion. See Manly, police constable. That's right. I can't sit on the couch anymore. Oh, wait, I see a baby carrier thing gone. Missing? I don't know. There might be. I might be getting stabbed there. Wait, what? There's no one here, Miss Wood. The but toilet, though. That's impossible. She was here, hanged on the shower curtain. Well, there's blood on the toilet. That's where John hit his head. I told you. Stay behind me, miss. Stay behind him. He's back. He wasn't finished off. He's not dead. Yeah, the bathroom she won't match what we've seen. That's, that's exactly right. Nothing's wrong except the blood on the toilet. Knife's missing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a knife was Ms. missing. I'm sure this guy's got it. Kitchen. Let's move. Probably nothing in my inventory. Area clear. Let's move. Pretty sure there were. There's one rock right here. But I'd have to go back. Check the bedroom. I'd have to go back to be super sure. I don't want to. I don't want to be. The Parents' room. Did the shots come from there? Do, do I have to? Games. Yeah, there's that knife. And Queen of Magus is gonna be like, You're back here again, you dummy? Dumping all the bodies.
Police are about as incompetent as those in Cat Lady, I know, right? Zach should still be in his apartment. Roseberry Lane. I doubt I can go back. Just there. Pulls the gun and holsters as he searches. Not that he'd have a gun and holster, by the way. All your officers don't carry guns on their person. Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? Hmm. Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? Lock. in the cold oh bethany my dear little sister well some armed police to report a domestic dispute yeah that's probably a bad idea There's a black cross on it, with stripes of red fabric wrapped around it. Represent each of the three people who have died. This one's supposed to be me. I've seen that silly hat before. Well, the Zach's not dead. a noose hanging from it. I'm supposed to be your mom. It looks like some sort of toy. Interesting interface there. Wait, what? I'll leave it alone for right this second. Zach's umbrella. What is it doing here? Hmm. Smoking kit. Oh, there's a button. So I push it like that. Do I have to change the thing first? Okay. What's this for one? question a gift from a stranger but why Tiny little coffin. 
one's for her after all, right? Still carry a taser. It looks like some sort of toy. Oops. Just remembered I can run. La, 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 la. Mm. Oh, another train. That the, that's a rock in the bottom left, and this one is like the how. <laughs> Look at that house. Nice physics for the broken. Bricks. Stuff. Nice job, Lorelai. You know me? How are you? Who are you? The name's Jimmy. Jimmy the Traveler. And now that you've opened the way, there's one place I'd like to show you. We can talk as we go. It's quite a trek. But it's worth it. And before you ask, yes, you can trust me. That's what that old hag said, too. Oh, she says a lot of things, but believe me, I am no friend of hers. That still doesn't make you a friend of mine. Sure. But what if I told you I found a way to destroy her? To end this nightmare once and for all and send us both back to the real world? Then... I'd listen to you very carefully. Let's go then. It'll get dark soon. Interesting. 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 You want to tell me something about yourself? I mean, 
Jimmy the Traveler doesn't quite explain why you're here with me. In the afterlife. I... I travel in my sleep. Always have. What? Look, it used to be fun. I went to different places every night. At first I thought they were just dreams. Not real, but no. My body stayed in bed, but my mind, my spirit, or whatever, they were set free. In my sleep, I was a ghost. Everything I saw happened somewhere, to someone. Then one night, I traveled here, and I can't wake up since. So, if you're the good guy, and she's evil, then why did she bring me back to life? Cause you know, that was kinda awesome. It's all part of the game she's playing. She knew you'd die again, and that you will have no choice but to do what she asks. And trust me, everything she does comes with a price. Anyway, I don't want to try to convince you. You'll know when you see the real her. Yeah, maybe. But when will I see the real you? The real me? Well, he's fast asleep in bed. Back in the real world. And if he doesn't wake up anytime soon, he'll most certainly die. So, where are we going? The tunnel. That's where the devil came from. Devil? You mean the Queen of Maggots? If you prefer. She has many names, but names are just names. They don't really matter. <laughs> what other names does she have? People that come through here always want to know. And every time she gives a different answer. Actually, it's funny, but... I even heard her using the name Lorelei once. <laughs> What's in the tunnel? That's where the real Queen of Maggots is, and has been since the dawn of time. The old woman is just a puppet. And her little house by the field? Not real. It felt very real to me. Sure. But trust me, it's just a dream within a dream. real queen of maggots what's she like you'll see soon enough i'm not really sure if i want to no nobody wants to but now that you're here this is your only chance to win her wicked little game how by killing her once and for all something that doesn't even exist oh she does exist hiding in the tunnel the real her but mate you're just like the queen of maggots all these words but you're actually saying nothing you want me to go inside the tunnel then you have to tell me what to do Bomb. Yeah, it's weak to fire. Oh, I don't know, Jimmy. Not a big fan of bombs. <laughs> what if I say no? Then you will forever be her slave. Just like others before you. We are here. Take this with you. Here's the bomb and a lighter to light the fuse. Oh, 
technology? Okay, but will Wait. that be blow me up too? Are you not going in with me? No. I wish I could. But I am not allowed to enter the tunnel. Why not? Because you're not dead? She'd sniff me out in an instant. Mm. I'm not dead like you. <laughs> I'm only sleeping. Well, um, soup can grenade. Bah. Oh, it's like 11.30. About sleepy time, isn't it? Met 37. Me, or is it MFT? MFT? MFT-37. This rock could be useful. I wonder what it does. metal parts there's no getting around this at least not without using my bomb i wish i was strong enough to push it down but i'm not that's ah. not gonna work <sighs> i really want to use my bomb already no game needs to be done first uh no it does not need to be done first i'm just greedy Didn't seem to do anything. That's not it. Cat lady call back. What is? The tunnel? 1537. I feel like that would be significant. I feel like I'm changing anything when I turn that. It's like that needle doesn't move or anything. Was it in a tun tunnel in that game? There's something on the other side of the wall. I can hear noises coming from behind it. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. That's not gonna work. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. I'll find another way to blow up Queen of Maggots. Oh, it was a choice to do the tunnel or her. I see. Tunnel at the start of a game. That's not it. I feel like there's no way that actually worked. Well, the idea is you use the rock to create like a spark. 
But I feel like that would be really tough to do, if not impossible. It's big enough for me to get through. The middle part has fallen off. It's the missing part of the machinery. I didn't have to look far for once. That's another cat lady reference. It's some kind of steam engine. It's so loud. Should I take some with me? Yeah, why not? No. Hmm. Loud. A little less loud. <laughs> ah, this looks familiar. This all looks extremely similar. Oh, oh, oh. Being a cat lady is straight up like the tunnel from the beginning of the game. <laughs> from like the beginning, you're like the be right in the beginning. That's like the ambulance from <laughs> the beginning. Cat lady, that's right. There's the ambulance, that's right. Wow. 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 All right. Well, I can save whenever I want. Huh? All righty. I would say that's all I'm doing today. I'm feeling we got some more story stuff coming up. This seems like the calmest point. Uh, get ourselves out of this tunnel, or go find the Queen of Magus and not blow her up because we already used our grenade. Maybe we'll just talk to her. Be a friend. Oh, well, that just closes the game. Oh, find them! Find them! Find them! I thought I was going to go back to the title screen, but that's okay. I so caught. Thanks for hanging out, Dolby. Thanks for hanging out, Gino. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Hope you had a good time. So continue this journey. Next week, most likely. Like she'd want to kill the queen when he's still out there anyway. That's true. She want, she'd want to come back to life to take care of John once and for all. What's in for all? Hmm. Interesting game. You feel the nice week of story, but no prop. Thank you for the nice week of watching. You guys have a good Sunday. Good weekend. I shall return on Mondays. Monday. 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 Yeah. Good night, everybody. Bots lurkers, everybody stop by. Oh.
Aww. You too. Almost looks true. Ah, details, details, details. Uh, uh, gone. I'm gonna go sleep now, okay? You guys have a good weekend, good time.